<laughs> I just realized my, my, my camera's not on. And my lens oh. cap's still on. <laughs> hang on. It's, it's, what, I'm, what? hang on. <laughs> What what the heck, Corey? First censorship and now this? <laughs> Hang on, what I'm just the heck. I uh, I see what's going on too. Here we go. <laughs> uh, here we go. There I am. All right, I got to. I got we, we we dude. We I, what is going on? Because I was like, I knew that there were going to be a few people in the chat room being like, "What's up with all this censorship?" And it's like, dude, it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. I think so anyway. Like, like uh, calm your booty cheeks about it. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. There we go. Sorry, I, no, I, don't, I all that, and I forgot, <laughs> forgot to turn on my camera and take off the lens cap. All right. We're okay. Um, We're all right. Uh, yeah. I need you to, know, maybe is, I'm too loud. Our, I don't know. Who knows? Whoa, you've got Zane's dad super big. Yeah, um, I, I don't know. I wonder what's going on. Uh, everything seems to well, be I mean, like... You know, you don't stream for... You know, you skip two weeks and look what happens. Yeah, I guess I... Last time I, I streamed was uh, Give Me Toilet Paper. So... Well, and uh, you know what? The last time I was like cool the co-host on the stream was back when you were doing uh, the Super Nintendo Metroid. Yeah, because, it's crazy, right? Because I, you know, you were playing, and then the next week you did give me toilet paper when I was crunching, getting the uh, analog duo video done. That's right. Um, and then the next week I, I played. So it's been a long time since I've I've been in in this position. And you know what? I bought. I I, I, I when I sat down here after I ate dinner. Cause I ate there just before the stream and I was like, Oh, I meant to eat this tonight so I could report back to you all on super Mario SpaghettiOs because we were talking about SpaghettiOs because you talk about SpaghettiOs when you play Metroid because there's SpaghettiOs in Metroid. Right. right? Yeah. And I was, I was talking about how, you know, I, I probably haven't had SpaghettiOs since I was like 10 and I don't like spaghetti, but I remember SpaghettiOs being fine. So I, I went to the grocery store. I'm like, I'm going to find a can of SpaghettiOs. And I didn't even know where to find SpaghettiOs, but I eventually found them. And I saw there's Super Mario SpaghettiOs. Look at it. And so I'm like, well, I can't not buy the Super Mario SpaghettiOs. So I was going to taste them before the stream. I was going to try them on stream, but I thought, Oh, people don't like listening to other people eat, even though I don't care. Um, but I was still going to report to y'all what my renewed impressions on SpaghettiOs are. <laughs> renewed impressions. Man, yeah. it's, 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 it's been a minute, though. It feels as though uh, I, I was like, oh, my gosh, it's Sunday already. Don't I have to usually do something on Sunday? <laughs> but I guess the last two... Uh, Last two weeks, you know, it's New Year's and Christmas Eve, so. But it's really been three weeks in the interim, you were saying. Because I was like, it's been well, like Well, yeah, three, I mean, because it's weeks. usually one week yeah. in the interim. Yeah. So we missed two weeks, which means three weeks yeah. in the interim. Yeah. Uh, everyone who's, like, saying, you know, I see, uh, I need to scroll up, because Gabester said, way to rack in the ad money and s to uh, censor the word hell. Way to go. Potentially lost a follower on me. It... It has nothing to do with anything. I thought it like it's just really funny. It's, it was funny to type it in there. Funny. It's just it's 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 completely a joke. It's, it's it is funny. like it is not because we're like nervous about the uh, ad revenue or anything on this. It was a joke. <laughs> it's it's completely a joke. Heck is heck is a lot more it's funny. A lot more. It's a lot more oh, funny. Right. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Anyways. It's, it's a, kind of an inside joke anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So, I well, mean. We probably sort of borrowed from Tim Rogers to some extent. Yeah, yeah. It just like, just, uh, I mean, I, it kind of goes back to like the game Hellfire, though. Where yeah. I was like calling it Heckfire. 
I don't know. I thought because the reason I said heck fire is because my daughter, who was like like six or seven before, uh, like when I was recording, like when I was talking about that game, came in and I like censored it just because I thought it was like because she was there. So it's and then been you used it in the video, which was funny. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a uh, it's it's a joke. Anyways, it's humor us. Yes. Yeah. All right. So. I guess it's, you know, like it's, it's been a little bit and, you know, everybody got to see our year end video. It, yeah. it was a, it was kind of a little, a little bit of a marathon at the very end there, just due to. Which was the total, I mean, the total, I mean, you're like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm ahead. I'm going to take the week off between, between <laughs> Christmas and New Year's. It's going to be great. And it was anything but the case. It was every, like anything but the case. It was, it was so dumb. <laughs> And I, you know, I ran, I ran into some issues with my audio balance. I was like, I need to like fix this. And then I like made it worse. And then I, I don't know. I feel as though I've made it pretty good though. Now I have a pretty good. The biggest issue was like at the very end, like we were both finishing, like it was like around like 9 PM the day before new year's Eve. Yeah. And we were both like finishing our, our edits right around then. Yeah. And you were going to construct the final thing, but since we had been exporting our segments as ProRes, like, we just, like, didn't consider how freaking long it would take to get to you with my cable internet connection. And, like, it was like, this isn't even going, like, the remaining two segments aren't even going to get to you before the end of New Year's Eve. <laughs> Why is it so, so loud? That's so loud. I don't understand why that's so loud. Ah, uh, what's so loud? Let me just turn that off. See if that just helps. I'm not going to mess around because I'm get I'm hearing the uh, the pop up. Sound. Oh, the pop up alert. Was it super loud for some reason? It was. I don't know why though. For me, it is really loud. Any anyway though. Uh, so ultimately, we we just getting our files to each other in a timely manner, and then getting that final export up yeah and then there was like a super unexpected music copyright strike yes and, and that was really was... had more render troubles yes and then your upload speed wasn't as fast as it usually was so we ended up releasing like what like 4 p.m 4 yeah 5 p.m so but we did it we did it that's all that matters is that we made it right made that's, that, that is all that matters and uh you know it's the it's the only thing that we've been We've managed to stay on uh, uh, on schedule with, like, you know. I was like, we can't, we can't miss this because if we miss this, then we will have failed at, you know, keeping everything, uh, you know, like hitting deadlines, you know, on everything at some point. So, but but, but you know what? Uh, this year is going to be different for real because we've we've made a commitment. Guess what? Guess what? I have shot the intro yes. for the games we played in 2024. I shot it on the first day of the month or, or of the year. Yeah. Uh, and we're, it's kind of almost going to be like this documentation of the year, like month by month. So like yeah. each as each month passes, we're going to, you know, see what games we finished or whatever that we can include uh, and the games we played, and we'll do a little a January segment, a right. February segment, a yeah. March segment, it's gonna, so it's, on and so forth. It's going to be like a little bit of a switch up on the format. Uh, it's it's like potentially going to be like twice as long, like, though, because of it. Oh yeah. Not that it really it's matters, when right? When you're doing a month, <laughs> when you're doing a month at a time, it like it's not going to be that difficult to write and edit, right? So it's it's going to be a lot longer. Yeah, so I people mean, people should love that. Yeah, I mean, if, if our segments, depending on how many games we play, really, but doing it this way will allow us to kind of talk about games for a little bit longer, you know, get more immediate feelings on it. And what, like, what I'm planning on doing, like, you know, I finished, I finished Alan Wake 2, like, actually before the new year. Uh, and, you know, like, I, I finished that and I will cover that, but the DLC will come out later on. And I'm going to play that. Well, shall be on it. So, 
it'll be kind of neat because then we can kind of return and go back to certain games like, oh, you know, I played the DLC for this. You know, like I played Alan Wake, Wake at the beginning of the year, but now like the DLC is on. I can kind of revisit and just talk about that specifically for a little bit. So it, it is very potential, like the potential for it being uh, like each of our segments for each month is like, you know, between five and ten minutes. I mean, no, it's no, it's very I mean, possible it could be four hours long by the time we're done. But you know what? <laughs> if it is, if it is, if it is, you know. Well, I mean, you know, I noticed, I noticed that. I mean, it is this, the one we just released is the second longest games we've played. It's still pretty long, but it's not as long as 2022's was. But I wonder if you know it actually started off a good bit ahead of you know relative to the number of days that it had been released. Right. It actually was ahead of the games we played in 2022 and now it's fallen behind the games we played in 2022 and i wonder if part of that could just be that the last episode was was a longer episode so you had people like coming back it's it's possible but i don't feel like the difference was that that big you know so whatever no, no. I, I i think that last year last year's video really got just swept up in the algorithm and we're starting to see like that started to happen around this time because now it's pulled ahead. Right. So I don't know. It's whatever happens, happens, you know, and I just think that that is going to be a fun way to chronicle like everything that we play throughout the yeah. year. Yeah. And sometimes, and you know, you know some we'll months, feel like you might have a lot more than me and vice versa. Yeah. Or some, some months. What if like it, something great comes out and we were playing it multiple months in a row, then that's that, but we can, you know, riff on that a little bit, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So, that said, I'm going to play some Doom 2. Is between this or Hades, uh, I started playing Hades a couple days ago just because, uh, I don't know, it just sounded kind of fun. And it's like, it's definitely got his claws on me now. So I'm going to play some Doom. Uh, you get on to Doom 2, and I'll uh, I'll, I'll uh, finally get rolling on the Super Chats. So, sorry about the delay. I, I guess we oh, kind of had to That's have not what I needed. That's the two cam. Well, beginning of the year preamble, you know? Yes. Uh, so there was a notification that, that Zane's dad has been a member for 35 months in a row. Started at the beginning of the year, I guess. Uh, I guess it's easy, easy to keep track of uh, that way. Uh, saying, haven't seen you guys all year. Nice to be back. Well, yeah, you haven't seen Corey, but you you did drop by our... Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure you dropped by our uh, Atari stream on the backloggery. Oh, when, when did you do that? Because I feel like it was, was supposed to be on New Year's Day, but it, it didn't... It, it, was, it was New Year's Day. Was it all day? No, it was normal. I mean, it was a Monday, so it was just normal backloggery stream time. Oh, okay. Okay, for some reason, I thought you were doing like a marathon type thing. With it. No, no, no. But we played like, I think like 50 some Atari games, like real, real carts. Um, unfortunately, so, so I got, I got uh, a system modded recently and it looks good, but I was just having so many cart reading errors with it. Uh, and I just, it, it ended up being the path of least resistance. I, I've got a, the, I, I don't know if it's called the term, the junior or the, the little, a little black Atari 2600. There was like a, a, a shrunk down model released um, later in in, the, in in its life cycle, um, and uh, I, I just got RF out of it. You know, ran through a VCR. Looks like garbage, but that's also <laughs> probably the iconic look. That didn't go well. So I, I like I record and I recorded the whole stream on uh, the Ninja and. Uh, converted it to uh, H.265 because I saw I've got the H.265 thing sorted out. And so I uploaded it to our NAS. Uh -huh. So not only will I be able to use that in the games we played in the January segment, um, like we'll like never have to re record like RF Atari footage ever again. That's awesome. Because <laughs> I like we've got like 50 some games on there. <laughs> it Even looks better. terrible, but you know. Uh, Jeremy Farbman is asking if you can turn up the game sound. Yeah. Um, and there. Were, oh, hey, we got we got five dollars for from uh, from Rondo products. I, I Ooh. That's, that's 
Ryan behind the curtain there. Yeah. Thank you. No, no comment. But thank you. Uh, and then there was a five dollar super chat from Sofa King. Ooh. So, 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 Sofa King. No, no, I am there. Uh, but I'm guessing it's Sofa King. I just opened something here that's saying uh, "Happy New Year" and love to support the channel. Well, thank you, thank you. I I, I would love to support uh, the the sofas that you sell over at Sofa King. Uh, and it, whoa, there was a twenty dollars super chat from Dang. Man of Cheesecake. Jeez, thank Y'all? you. Saying "Happy New Year" and "Happy Heckin' Sunday." <laughs> We're back. We're back. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank I mean, you. it's it, you know, it. It felt really weird not to stream that many weeks in a row. I can't think of if that's ever happened before. I've ever, like, even last time it fell in the same kind of situation. I feel like there's the, one of those times is you were here on New Year's Day. Like, Probably like I don't know if we have ever missed two weeks in a row. No, I don't think Probably I don't think we ever not. have. Right, but you know the the, the even though it, I mean oh, it's been shoot. a long time, like sometimes it almost feels this Start long week to week. Are not let's let's do this again. I accidentally did a quick load to the previous level. Oops, I guess it wasn't very far. Um. But, uh, yeah, uh, but yeah, I mean, so, you know, sometimes it feels like, I mean, I, I know you feel this way. Like sometimes it feels like a variable amount of time between like one Sunday to the next. Like sometimes it's like, oh God, it just felt like two weeks. And sometimes it's like, oh, I can't believe it was only a week ago. Right. Or it was already a week. Um, but anyway. Um, yeah, so, uh, then, oh, we got a notification that Joshua Eckert has been a member for 10 months in a row. Thank you. Saying happy new year. Some doom is always a good way to start the year. Rip and tear. <laughs> uh, I'll need to do some ripping and tearing of my own in, in yeah. doom 2016, which is on my, on my pledge list. Where is the... <laughs> Didn't I just? And then we we got a, a five dollar uh, message of support from Aaron Welsh saying, "I refuse to support anyone that censors their content." <laughs> <laughs> where, where do I need to go? Oh, then uh, then a ten dollar uh, super chat from Local S'mores Pop Tart. Local S'mores Pop. What what would be the local S'mores Pop Tart of? of of your area, would it be like the the skyline pop tart? Maybe sky like like a skyline like a Cincinnati chili flavored pop tart. Ugh, can you imagine how tart? gross that would be? <laughs> oh, that sounds extremely disgusting. Oh. Local s'mores pop tart. Um. Anyway, saying Happy New Year. Always nice to play some games while watching the stream. Just finished Donald Duck going quackers earlier today oh. on my PS One Classic. Now I'm continuing my replay of Bayonetta 2 right now. Oh, nice. I, I played um, uh, Don Duck Going Quackers, I think, was on my games we played in 2022. I, I played the N64. Version. That was a, a a quaint little jaunt. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Man, we, we're getting like crazy members all of a sudden. I don't, I don't know if there's like some. Maybe it's like a renewal. Type yeah, thing. I don't know if there's like some reason to uh, some incentive. Uh, at the start of the year or something. Uh, but uh, thank you all. There, there's new members uh, from Nether Labs. Oh, Jordan, wow. And Dwaz777. Dang. Crazy. Thank you. Uh, and then there was two pound super chat from JL. Thank you. Saying it's the year of the Switch 2 and the PS5 Pro. Well, let me tell you what. Uh, it's going to be kind of funny if that doesn't happen because I, I actually recorded in that intro that I did for the games we played in 2024. Uh, well, that'd be kind of fun, I think. It will be fun because I said, like, I, you know, I'm saying, like, hey, you know, 
uh, you all know so much more about gaming in 2024 than I do because I'm recording this on the first day of the year. So I don't know. Let's find out together. And I say like, you know, look, I'm rolling B-roll of Nintendo's new system that I don't know what the name of, what it looks like or what it can do, but I'm sure I've got it by this by now. Yeah. <laughs> and I also say, am I rolling B-roll of the PS5 Pro or, or was that not actually a thing in 2024? Who knows? <laughs> like, I'll be funny, like, you know, it's like almost like kind of like a weird, like almost like a time travel sort of thing. Uh, but I mean, everyone seems pretty convinced that those rumors are uh, pretty valid. I mean, what what do we even know about Nintendo's lineup outside of like Princess Peach Showtime? The remake of Luigi's Mansion 2, remake of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. <laughs> like, we don't... We don't know anything. Metroid okay. Prime 4, I mean, it hasn't even been shown. Yeah. So, like... I, it may not really even exist hope, for all we know anymore. I mean, I'm, I'm really hoping that it, it'll be, you know... I. I don't think it's going Dude, to what be. Dude, what if Metroid Prime, what if Metroid Prime 4 like sucks? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean the quality of Prime Remastered like really renewed my Oh, opinion. I know. I know. I I am expecting that it's going to be awesome, but can you imagine like after you know, restarting the entire game? I got to I got to use those uh um quick saves a little bit more often. I say get some but uh, uh, I mean, can you just imagine? I can't imagine like like how crazy people go. Like, you, you, I know it's not going to. I mean, it's it's stupid to think that it could possibly yeah, yeah. like not be good, but it's just like that would be. <laughs> it's just it's it's very humorous to think about because how is this even possible? Zane's dad is confident they'll be better than Half Life Three. <laughs> Oh, I, you know, yeah. that, that's actually something I've been thinking about doing maybe one of the next times I stream is I want to I want to do that. Uh, you heard about that Series X thing with Half-Life. Yeah. 2, didn't you? Yeah. Or like you can like make a save on an Xbox 360. Right, right. Edit the save on your computer and you can yeah, play yeah. like for one session. For one session. Yeah. From you gotta... the beginning of the game. Like, I don't understand why they're not just, like, incorporating that. Like, they may as well just patch it to, like, do that all the time. Yeah, but it's like, I don't know. It's just, it's a novelty, though, right? It's a novelty. Yeah, for sure. You know why they, they, they're not doing it? It's because, uh... Did you hear about, like, how apparently Gabe Newell has six yachts? No. <laughs> you know, it, it it's one of those things where I, I should not be... Uh, surprised, but I guess I just kind of was because I don't really think of him like this. But he's like he's he's a billionaire. Oh, I mean, but but it, but it's not something I even thought about. You know what I mean? Like it's just not something that I considered that he could possibly be. You know, it just says because he doesn't strike me as that. But then it's like, oh, he's got like six yachts. But oh. it, it, it's I mean it's. Not surprising, but at the same time, it, it like it's not what I would expect. I mean, I guess it's not like what I would think about. I guess that that makes any sense. I just wouldn't think about it being. Steam, like, Steam is big, big business. Yeah. You'd think they could afford to make their Half Life Three. <laughs> well, I mean, yes, but at the same time, like they don't gotta. So why do they? Yeah, they don't got to but because because the, there's no way that it's going to achieve, like it's not going to live up to whatever they'd want it to live up to, or whatever it needed to live up to at this point. That it's probably I, safer to not do it. You know what I mean? I mean, there's no way it would be bad. I mean, it would it be groundbreaking? It's hard to imagine it being groundbreaking, but yeah, well, that's what I mean. I, I don't think it doesn't need to be. Like, but I think people that people are expecting that it would, you know? right? But I think that people are expecting it to be like after this this much time, it's it's got to have something 
Just gonna... I mean, it does not. It, I, to me, people would be happy as long as it brings the story to a, a satisfying conclusion. Like, yes, I know the first two Half Life games were groundbreaking technologically for their time, uh, and like, and, and a lot of ways, game design wise as well. But, but it doesn't have to be that. It's not like we just don't make another Half Life because you don't have an idea for how you could break new ground with it. You know? Right. Uh, there was. We just see you uh, see that gibbage right there. Gibbage. Yeah. Gibbage is oh. like when they explode. Oh, oh, that that's what that means. Yeah, yeah, that's the the gibitude. Yeah. Oh, as you say jib. I always said gib. Well, I never said it. I've never heard that word until you. Bitchin. A, a gib or gibitude? I'd never, I'd never heard that. You never heard? That. Well, I guess you didn't really play like, like, Quake and stuff in in this like when in it was their day. in their day. I mean, that's the only reason I knew about it. I guess was, was is, that, is, is it is it jib or is it? It's, it's got to be gib. I mean, what was that a common word like outside what? of these kinds of games? No, or? no. Was no. that? What, so was that was that just was that what people used to say instead of frag? Well, when the, it's when they I, like ex, when that. they explode, like when they're when they're they just like turn into like a like a pile of meat. Oh, it's like okay, giblets. I, I see. Yeah, is it giblets? Like, I always said giblets. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> Does it matter? No. That ma that makes sense. Yes. That makes sense now. It's jib, like Jim. I, no, maybe. Maybe it is, but you know what? I, I like, like, gib better, because I've, I've, always, I've always said. Um, and I don't care if it's right or wrong. Uh, there was a uh, $10 super chat from Austin B. Thank you. Saying Corey C. repping TNL and the Gears of War crew. Howdy, brother. You guys <laughs> rock. Love all the content from DNG Necro. Oh, nice, nice. Good to see you. I was just talking to uh, somebody about about TNL the like recently, because uh, you know, like it, I I constantly run into situations where there's like some sort of like connection to it. And uh, we have some some merch in the works coming. And I was talking to the uh, the person who's doing that, like knows somebody that I like knew from, like like knows in person somebody that I knew from those forums. Oh. It's just like it's constantly popping 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 back into my life in one way or another. Uh, and hopefully the, that that merch will be revealed in the next in the coming weeks. We got some really cool like different like different designs. I think that think people will be like, oh, this is kind of a neat neat thing because you know we've always talked about how we don't know what to do about our merch because we don't want it to be like us. You know, like nobody wants to have anything with us on it. I mean, at least I hope that people don't want. We don't. It. We don't want people to want things with us on. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but sometimes we say things that people are like, oh, I would buy. Oh, it's back to the start there. I, I think we've got a pretty good lineup of, of logos yeah. that people will be excited about. Some I'm extremely. Uh, it's no, no, uh, no bean stuff. Although, I mean, did I, did I talk? Was it, did I mention during this? Uh, did we talk about the beans that I got for the, uh, the white oh. elephant? We, no, I, I mean, we, you haven't talked. You haven't talked about the outcome. Oh, okay. Uh, the outcome is that it was like well, a real. Well, it okay, was... well, first of all, first of all, first of all, for those who, for those who, didn't hear the story before, I'm sure you. I'm sure you mentioned this at least, but I don't remember for sure. When we trade did the the NAS trade at, at Bush's Best Visitor Center in yeah. Tennessee, you bought. A gift package of beans and uh, baked bean print wrapping paper. Yes. There was a photograph of baked beans 
on the wrapping paper. If you were going to give it at your white elephant Christmas gathering, which which I think there's multiple terms for, but that I have not been party to such an event, but my understanding is where people people get kind of joke cheap joke gifts. It's not always from, like it's not it's just like cheap gifts. It's not always like joke gifts. It's just it's anything like under uh uh Anything under like twenty dollars, I think, is like you don't know have. who will end up getting. It, right? No, it's all like in a in a pile, like in the center of the room, and you and you pick cards, and you go from like lowest to to highest, and everybody picks like a random present out, and the person who like gets the ace goes first, and they also go last because you can you do a thing where everyone picks the present out, but the next person can either pick a new present out or they can steal somebody else's present. Mm. So whoever ends up with the uh, like the ace, then they um, can, they don't get the, have have the option to steal anybody's gift, but it, they go first, but they can also pick out, uh, they, they can pick from, uh, they can steal anybody's gift, I guess. But what's, what's getting me? What, 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 was there some bean stealing going on? The beans did not get stolen, but they were like the uh, the talk of the entire thing. I mean, everyone, I, everyone I mean, wanted it and everyone was thinking about it at some point. Well, but so, the so, thing that cracked me up the most is that everyone was like, oh, that's 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 good. That's, that was a good present. <laughs> and it's like the intent was like, is that it definitely was not supposed to be like a great present. But everyone was really like all about it, really excited <laughs> about it. But I mean, before they even saw it, like I mean, you showed me the picture of what the uh, uh, you, sh you showed me the picture of of what it looked like under the tree, and like clearly everyone must have been like looking at that present and be like, that's the one they were. Everyone was wondering. About. Yes. Well, no, I don't think that anybody really realized that it was beans on the wrapping paper at first. Oh, really? Yeah. Nobody realized how, it. How could you not tell what it is? I don't know. People just didn't look close enough, I guess. So just give me some help. These levels are definitely a lot longer, a lot bigger than than the uh, last game. But, I guess uh, then, like, episode so four. So the, the beans were a hit. The beans were a hit, yes. And I'll tell you, like, what is, what's getting me? What's getting me? Uh, everyone that I told where I got them from, everyone thought it was super awesome that place is there, and they said, "Oh, like how far is that?" Like they really, <laughs> well, like people really wanted, wanted my, to go. My, well, my <laughs> my parents are going to go because they they actually wanted to go like take a trip to Knoxville at some point this year, but I think the timing didn't work out, and so they're like, "Oh yeah, we're going to go to Knoxville sometime this spring. We're like definitely going to go there." <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my mom looked at the menu for that cafe and she's like that place sounds amazing yeah well, it'll probably like, get well there. it was it was sure popular with the locals like we couldn't get in yeah so, so you all need to go eat there and, and tell me how tell me what i miss oh shoot so i'm you know i thought this at first i thought this was because um, you were streaming at 1440p and uh, YouTube was automatically giving me 1080p and it looked really bad. Uh -huh. but then like YouTube auto automatically started sending me 1440p and it still looks bad. Are you streaming at like a really low bit rate or is like there's just something about the visuals of this game that doesn't stream well? I don't know. Like it, the compre like is there, is there anyone else seen this? Like the compression is pretty bad. Like it's 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 watchable. I can parse the action, uh, but something about the way this game looks is, is not agreeing with the compression. Yeah, Henry Clark says the flat colors don't compress well. Oh, I think okay. that's a big part of it. it. It sees the flat colors and it thinks like, oh, I can get away with minimal effort in this area, but yeah, then it it actually really needed to put more effort in. <laughs> 
Mr. Doss thinks it's rather bad, but in a good way. Okay, well, I can't do anything about that. You know, it's just... Yeah, you know, Mr. Do, I, I meant to put you in the special thanks of, of uh, the games we played in 2023, and I forgot. But I meant to put you in there because you were the one who 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 made me try Amagon. Even though you tried to tell me to not to not get Amagon. But I still feel like it is because of you that I got Amagon. And it was kind of good. It was kind of good. Well, you were saying before, you said, I think this is the only video out there that probably has, is like, is, is positive about Amagon. Yeah, well, like, I literally could only find, when I just did a quick search on YouTube, I only saw two, like, videos of, about Amagon. Like, not just, like, a a clean gameplay video. Like, a, like a, a video, like, reviewing Amagon. I could only find two videos. They were. They both appeared to be negative. And I, I feel like I might have the only positive video on the internet saying, like, you know what? Like, there's actually kind of something to this game. It's pretty good. I forgot how I bring up the map. Uh, are, are you aware that you've been been haunted by a little Carlson for like quite some time? What? Oh my god! I <laughs> I've been here for like I don't know ten minutes. No, -uh. really? Has he been here yes! for like ten minutes? Uh, <laughs> he went away for a little bit, but yeah, he was there uh, for like a while. I had no idea. Okay, well, I have I have headphones on. How, there's no way I could have heard him. But it's, that's very fun. That's very funny. Good job. <laughs> you you want to you want to go grab? Can I, can I show everybody what I ended up getting? You want to go grab that? Oh, yeah. Definitely. What what'd you get for Christmas? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's, don't worry about that. It's all right. Don't worry about it. You know, I'm not going to have you bring it back, though. This is what I... This is, this is what I got right here. Yeah, so you got some I got my... Uh, my aliens pulse rifle nerf gun. Oh! Show the counter. <laughs> Hang on, it's good. Well, it's gonna start shooting. Let me uh, let me take this out. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't do it. Are you gonna like mount it or I, I, anything? It's it's like it's like mounted over there. That's why he just had to get it. Well, I I want to shoot it, but it shoots really really fast. Uh, but it's kind of awesome. It, it's kind of awesome. It is awesome. Yeah, that's it's just like, you know, you can... Grenade you've, been, you've been, like, talking about it. Talk to grenade launcher, yeah. really. So I know. I've been it. thinking about it for years. Like, I, I had it pre-ordered at a point that I ended up not getting it. But it's kind of awesome. Kind of? Why do you say kind of awesome? It is awesome. It is. Oh, is it jammed? No, I'm pretty sure you can just point it down. And all it's alright. I don't. Well, I don't want them to fly out. But it, it's it's kind of neat. I like it. Why do you keep saying kind of? Because 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 it is, is kind of neat. <laughs> you're you're just downplaying it because because you're an adult. You're like yeah. It, it is it is definitely the best Christmas gift that I got this year. Uh. And you know, my my mom and my brother went in and got it for me. Uh, and it came in this huge box. And in the comments, if you say it's awesome, you are awesome. <laughs> and in the comments, we get we yes, get it. Say you say awesome in the comments. Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> kind of awesome. I you know speaking of uh, of. of Oh, like James Cameron really and Sigourney Weaver movies. Mm -hmm. You know what I actually watched? I actually watched this on New Year's Eve because I was too tired after all the stress of getting the video together to like 
do anything that involved any involvement, like playing a video game. So I, I, I watched on your Voodoo. I'd never, well, never I watched the Avatar. Anything, but if you do oh, did you watch? Did you watch? You are awesome. All right. I watched both okay, of them. Bye. Good night, buddy. Bye. You, we watched both of them. Yeah, because I, I mean, I was like, I, I was like, I, I, I really wanted to play Pikmin Four because that's yeah. what I've been playing since Christmas. But I was just like, I was too tired. It was, was between like, it was I, it was I, between that or uh it was between that or um uh playing vampire survivors and you were like I I'd much <laughs> rather yeah. do that than play vampires. Basically. But you know the reason I watched it was because like like Digital Foundry has like been like in love with the new game. Yeah. It, I mean it looks really good. It, it does, and, like, it seems like a lot of the concepts around it, like, almost seem better suited for games than movies in a lot of ways. Like, the, the world seems, like, tailor-made for, like, games with, like, all of, like, the whole, like, sort of, like, connectivity that, like, the flora and fauna and the world have and stuff like that. Like, it seems conceptually well-made for a game, although I don't know how those things play out um, I mean, I, I know those movies are like, like, like I, 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 like they were, they were fine. They were pretty good. You know, I, I didn't, didn't not enjoy watching them. I thought the first was better than the second. Well, the second one is like definitely like laying. Th it's like, laying groundwork for future stuff. Yeah. I mean, and the stuff that they've already like shot, you know, like it's all stuff. And that's why, you know, there's a lot of characters introduced in the second one that I thought it was really hard to tell who was who because it's just like so many people. Yeah, I mean, I, I started catching on like by halfway through, but like, yeah, like especially like introducing like his whole family and stuff. Yeah. Like the, 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 the thing that bothered me the most about, about the this? second one was like, why does it all have to be about like Jake? Like, like, like the whole, like it was all about like, Oh, we got to get him. And it's like, <laughs> like why? It's, yeah, it's like we we it's like he took himself like out of the conflict. So, it's well, like, it's what? it's really uh, that one guy. I know, like he's like super yeah. obsessed with, like super obsessed with. Him. Yeah, but like the fact of the matter is, like he obviously used like a lot. It it it, it took a lot of money to bring him back. It took a lot of money to, you know, fuel his campaign to get this guy. Yeah. And, like, he, like, commandeers this whole, like, you know, like, okay, multi-billion dollar boating operation to, like, do it. And it's like, it's like, what? it's like this guy already removed himself from the conflict. It's like, this doesn't even, like, that, like, like I thought, Oh, 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 the world building was was good enough in the movie, but like the actual plot was like, what's even the point? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah. I mean, like, I think that they are both t like totally fine movies. I think the thing that makes me the most sad about those movies is that like that's what James Cameron's gonna be doing for the rest of his life now. Yeah, there, there's, there's. <laughs> I mean, like. I mean, he's going to be, like, 80 when they finish, like... Yeah, I mean, that, like that, I that's the saddest thing to me about it, is that <laughs> it's that he's not going to do anything else now. Yeah. You know, because I want him to do something else. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, they were, they were, they were enjoyable. It was, it was a, it was a, an enjoyable way to spend a New Year's Eve where I was way too tired to do anything else. Mm-hmm. Dude, I was it's like, you know, I. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny though, because, you know, like I, I slept for two and a half hours the night before. Like, I got most of the stuff going, and and it was ready to go before we got that copyright strike on the piece of music from yeah. from the order 1886 segment, by the way. Which uh, is like, <laughs> the, I feel like literally the last game anyone would have guessed. Yes. 
And now uh, it's got Power Stone. And now I, I replace it with music from Power Stone. So. Yeah, that's just that's what I ended up doing. Perfect match, match making. Yeah, well, I, I I used the the song called as like called like Dark Castle or something like that. <laughs> something that would go. Can I just say I think that the idea I think the worst thing about Doom is invisible enemies. Like I just don't think that. I'm like, it adds it, anything worthwhile. Yeah, it just it it doesn't at all. You, you can know? sort of see them though, right? I mean, it's hard to tell. Right, but I just I just think that it just it feels like like a lazy addition. I don't know, does that seem like a stupid thing to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it yeah, feels I'm... like oh, you know, like we're just gonna you know, it yeah. sounds like something you put into uh you know, like in extra levels or something like that, but I just think yeah. that it's it feels kinda yeah, just I... like a little lazy. I I don't disagree. Don't disagree. Although, you know, I mean, at the time, I guess, I think that it would be, I, I feel as though I'd feel <laughs> similar to it. I mean, jeez, I have, like, no ammo here. Oh, um, I just fell in here anyways, I'm going to die. But you know what, what, like, I, 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 I've kept thinking about, and, like, this is, like, such a silly thing, and I, I'm curious if you or anyone else, like, kind of feels this way. Um... Like, not necessarily about Avatar specifically, but just, like, in general. Like, the thing that put me off from watching those movies for such a long time, I think was mostly, like, I don't know how to explain this, because it's, like, it's such a weird thing, but, like, I feel like if Avatar had just been, like, a video game, like that that world that concept had been built for a video game like i would have batted an eye and if like people were like oh yeah this is pretty good i'd be like oh you know maybe i'd maybe i'd i'd try it like, it is cool but like i feel like the kind of fantasy that i look for in like a video game is like different from the kind of fantasy i would look for in a movie like does that does that sound weird like no, it, like when I see that kind of world and those kinds of characters in a movie, it's like that, that doesn't feel like a movie. I guess. And then you watch it and it's like, oh, it's totally fine. Yeah. But like, it kept me away from it for a while because I'm like, I don't know. It, I remember it, you it, saying it, something it, about that. Huh? I remember you mentioning that where it felt really? too no, I don't like. I remember talking about this. Before, but... I feel like it was on a stream before. But like, like if Avatar, like the universe of that feels like, hey, hey, everyone that doesn't play video games, here's a video game world for you, you know, <laughs> right? Like, like it feels like video game fantasy, but for people who don't play video games. I feel like maybe that, I feel like that's maybe what kept me away from it, but I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I enjoyed them well enough. I mean, I'm not going to, like, be, like, hanging posters of it in my house. <laughs> <laughs> but they were, you know, I, they I were mean, granted, enough. I'm not sure if anybody is hanging posters of it in their house. <laughs> unless... well, I mean, they, they, I mean, considering how much money they made, someone's yeah. got to be, like, a massive fan. I'm sure there's plenty of massive fans, but... I don't think that they're as vocal and as fervent as, uh, you know, fans of other things. Because, I mean, you think about, you know, there was there was a very similar kind of rabid fan re response to Titanic. Um, where people would go and see it, like, every week for a while there. I mean, that's why... I, the, the numbers of, like, the box office numbers for Titanic are incredible. Incredible because it didn't even open at number one. I remember when this happened because it was my first year of college. It opened, didn't even open at number one, and then it was like the following week it made like fifty million dollars like every single weekend until like <laughs> March. Wow! And it opened in December, like all the way through. It's pretty insane, actually. Like I, I just can't imagine something like that happening again. 
especially with how quickly things come out on video now. Like, I just don't think it's possible to repeat something like that again. Yeah. You know, the, the other, the other, uh, another funny anecdote from watching it. I don't, I don't know if this was just from being kind of sleep deprived or, uh, I mean th this, you know, my facial recognition skills are not necessarily the best. Like I don't, w w whatever the term for that, for like, was it, I think it's prosopagnosia or propopagnosia or whatever. Like people literally can't recognize faces. Like, I don't, I don't have that, but like, I may be like, you know, five to ten percent on that spectrum, right? Okay. Uh, we're, we're, we're my, my facial recognition skills are probably not like as good as most people's, just a little, little bit less. Like, I like, for like half the movie, like, I thought, I thought the main guy's human, the, like the, the main guy, like, I, I, I was like, oh, it's Chris Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the guy that was in uh, he was in Terminator Salvation. Oh, I I think that's the only one I've never seen. That's the one that's a future war one. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's that's like <laughs> you're not you're not one of much. the reasons I've never seen it because like that takes away literally everything that is interesting about Terminator. See, but that that's the thing, you know. I think that I look back on it now and I think that I, I, well, I, 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 I commend them for having the guts to actually like do that because it seemed like nobody else had the guts to, to see that through to like say, all right, you know what? People have been asking for a future war movie for a long time. Let's, let's make a future war movie. And the thing is, like, the, the game did it better because that gave it, like, the future war that, like, people actually wanted. They don't want, you know, like, nobody didn't, nobody wanted a future war movie that didn't have those awesome plasma guns in it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean... Give me some bullets <clears throat> here. Like, I, I just, like, like, to me, the... The future war is just like, it's just like the backdrop to the story. But right, you know, it's it's about it's about time travel, and the future war is just set dressing. It, it shouldn't be about it, in my opinion. But um, you know, maybe I'll watch that some. It can't be as bad as Terminator Genesis. No, it's not. Like that was so bad. Yes. Sorry, I'm just just focusing on like trying to survive without any bullets here. Um. Ah, jeez. Anyways, do you I, have any rules for like when you save and reload and stuff, or you you just do it whenever you, when you feel like it? Just when I when I feel like it. Yeah, I mean, I do the same. I mean, it, it's. I mean, you. If you continue at the level, like you've like lost all your guns and ammo and stuff. Yeah. Like I, I ain't dealing with that. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's for the pros out there. Yeah. You, you can still get out of Doom Poserdom without... So, <laughs> I do want to talk about that, because there was... The, I don't know if you saw the comment on the video saying, like, I'm definitely still a Doom Poser because I didn't play it on... with, with, a, with a mouse and keyboard and only using the directional keys and not WASD. I, I did and, 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 that, and that's I... also the reason why I didn't like Episode 4. Oh. Because I wasn't playing it on like the original hardware and, I, and I wasn't using the directional keys and not W W A S D like that's that is like specifically something that they, that the comment said that it has to be using the directional keys. <laughs> I mean, it's so silly to me to say that about doom when like, 
like the game isn't even about aiming. No. Like it's not like modern FPS games. Like it, like precision aiming is like the last thing Doom. Like it's just not that important. Dude, how, there's so many of these guys in here. How do I get them? It's more about your your approach to the room and stuff like that. Is it known whose like super hairy arm that is that's punching? <laughs> like at first I thought that arm was like I was like, oh, are you like do you have like lycanthropy or something? Is that what it's called when you have hairy arms? Oh, no, that's what, what it's called when you're a werewolf. Uh. <laughs> Dude, this is... Luckily, I have a save at the beginning of the level, too. Which I might need to use. I'll try this one. I was not going to be here. Oh, so, oh, cause yeah, you, see, that's the only gun you have any ammo for. Yeah. I mean, I think that I get so caught up in trying to kill everybody, and that's the point is, like, you don't need to do that. Oh, yeah. I mean, the, you do get, like, ratings based on that, but I don't, I don't care about this. I mean, it, if you've got a, if you've got, like, you know, a lot of ammo and you, you know, it, it can behoove you to eliminate enemies. Right, right, but. There's, there's times to rush forward as well. Yeah. I need to take advantage of that more often. You know, Drum, Drum and I were doing co-op Doom 2. We did Doom 1 and... Oh, yeah, you can play... We Doom 2, like, years ago. We we never finished Doom 2. Uh, we need to get around to that. I feel like the, the, the old-fashioned pump-action shotgun's better for... Uh, situations when you have, when you don't have like you don't want to spray bullets in there. When you when you have much less uh, a stock of ammo. Right. Uh Mister Do, I think those Doom files do still exist, although they might be on the computer at my parents. What the so, video? No, no, no. The um, like the save files for Doom Two. Oh, it, or Drum might have. Drum, if Drum hasn't backed them up, because I kind of want to install Linux on that computer that I took to my parents' house, so I should probably, <laughs> I should probably make sure I don't have any uh, any stuff like that before I uh, do that. Come on. I make it go down there it goes oh, I can use those other ones here what does it take to is co-op FPS not common anymore Zane's dad I I would have assumed it was fairly common I mean yeah I that's like the best way to F play it FPS is not a genre that like I play that much anymore. Like, I don't play that many modern FPS. Like, not necessarily because I don't enjoy them, but I just, like, I don't, for whatever reason, I don't prioritize them. You don't prioritize the co op aspect? No, I just don't prioritize FPS games or something. Oh, uh, okay. Like, I mean, I, I know I'm going to love the new Doom and Wolfenstein games. Yeah. And you you've always played the. Wolfenstein games, like, as they come out. Uh, uh, that's, I mean, that's not true, oh. really. Uh, I mean, I played... You probably only think that because I played the, like, the PS3 era Wolfenstein. Right, games. yeah. And I did play... I did play... I played the, the Wolfenstein reboot, like, that came out, like, relatively early PS4. Like, the... Like, kind of the first one of, like, the new series. New Wolfenstein. <laughs> um, 
I uh, I played those when they came out, but like I played Wolf inside my uncle's computer back in the day. But um, I yeah, I, I played the entire played. game like this. You ever played the entire game <laughs> just like on the map screen? You're, it's like you're just like guiding a missile through like. You got a can, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's like it's like a it's like a an, a vector arcade game. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, there was five Canadian uh, super chat from Buddy Scotch. Thank you. Dang. Thank you. Saying uh, howdy and happy new year. Curious, what's your best thrift store slash pawn shop find? I was lucky enough to come across Metroid Fusion for fifteen Canadian. Well, I've got I've got an easy easy answer to that. <laughs> you know what it is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I definitely. I mean, I, I got the uh, I got I got the steel battalion controller for 15 bucks yeah because they didn't have any idea what it was i'm sure they didn't have any idea what it was because there's like there's no branding on it like it it doesn't it it doesn't like tip you off like there's there's not if you look at like anything underneath it there's like nothing really written on it that like indicates like what is this what is it for who made it what's it called because it's kind of made to look like like, like it's made by like the fictional military, right? Yeah. Of of you know the, that universe, like or it's it has like the army it has like the army logo or something on it, like yeah. a fictional army. Logo. And um, uh, and it was just like it was it was like as soon as you went in the door, it was just like if you look to the left, it was in like the back corner on like just like a shopping cart that was just like shoved into the corner with like a bunch of like one dollar two dollar dvds in it (laughs) (laughs) it was just like sitting on on top of that cart and the to the side there were some shelves and the foot pedals were like sitting next to a steering wheel so obviously they thought that the pedals went with the steering wheel right um but you're like nope it goes with this i was yeah i was just like i was just like so just so you know these are seen with that steering wheel but they go with this and they're like okay <laughs> but there was a 15 dollars price sticker on the on the uh on the controller uh or the main the main body the only problem with it is that there is a missing knob forget what it actually does i sort of like jerry rigged a like a like a dimmer switch on top of it um but like if i if i'm gonna like sit down and play the game for real uh at some point in the future uh which of course i would like to do i'll I'll probably figure out like a better method for making that dial work because uh, it was kind of janky the way that I, I made it work. But, um, yeah, so it was fine. So then I bought the I, I went on eBay and bought the game for something like forty bucks, I think. Uh, so my, uh, I I think that my uh, I don't I, I don't know exactly my best find ever was. You, see that that that's that's unique for me because like I. Well, for one, pawn shops, like, I never have good luck. I, like, yeah. I, I don't, I barely even go to pawn shops. You seem to have amazing pawn shops. I mean, I've, I've, well, I just, through virtue of just going a lot. Uh, I think, yeah, I, Henry Clark, that was at a game convention where I got a copy of Game Fan number yeah. one for a dollar. That, that, that was at a convention. Yeah, it's, not, it's not a pawn shop or thrift store fine. Right. Uh, I mean, I haven't had, like, a really good, goodwill find in years and it's fitting i guess that the last one that i had was maybe like six years ago with uh where i got a bunch of gamecube games complete in box uh just like an immaculate condition uh, for three dollars each it was like pikmin one and two um like all the like mario's uh golf mario tennis oh wow um any Mario parties? Those are those are really expensive on you. Mm-mm. No. They have been for a long time. 
I, I wish I still had them. I had I had four, five, and six back in the day, but like it just like college was not like a big multiplayer gaming time for me. Like I, I like high school, I did more like multiplayer stuff. So mm -hmm. like the N sixty four Mario Party games were big for me in high school. And, you know, I was like, I, I just like, I kept buying those games, even though like, I rarely had the right people to play with. Like I was just buying them out of habit. And I'm like, why am I still buying? <laughs> uh, it's got Mar so Mario's name on it. And then at some point I was just like, eh, you know, I only really ever cared about the N64 ones. I'm going to sell these. And then they all became my real games. I wish I Um, but it's been a long time since I've had a good good find. Although you know, I gotta get good deals you, at, at various did, places. You know, did, you never you didn't get that like forty two inch OLED, did you? No, I I wish that I had. I uh, wish you had too, dude. Like, it was like uh, new in the box and everything, and I like I meant to go that I'm day. Kind of, I've been kind of wanting one for for the retro room, to be honest. I'm like. Oh. I would kind of love to have them. It was, it was the, yes, yeah, the 42 inches, $400. And it was like new in no. box. Mm. Wow. <laughs> so wait, 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 you, you, you so want, I, you I, want I, one I for your retro good. room. So how does that like make that any different from, from the, uh, I just realized. That well, had... it's just, it's, it's just, it's, it's tough to, it's, if, if I need to test like retro tank scaling stuff, like I, for example, I've been working on, the new, um, you know, Super Nintendo mod that Voltar will be releasing soon for, you know, non-one-chip Super Nintendo systems. You can now, you know, get uh, pretty darn close to one-chip quality out of any of the earlier Super Nintendos. Yeah. Uh, when this mod becomes available pretty soon. Um, and it's just... It's, I've got this super tiny 4K monitor. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just wish I had something a little bit bigger to test like retro team 4K scaling on now that we're doing 4K scaling, right? Yeah. Because um, I actually had the 4K monitor downstairs and a 1440p monitor in there. And so, like, I, I, like, moved those around yesterday because, you know, I, I needed the mod to look at the 4K monitor while I was testing RetroTank 4K on, you know, analog video systems in that room. So, I don't know, though. I might I might end up seeing if I can... I mean, I would even be fine with, like, a, uh, you know, an LCD TV probably. Uh, you know, just for that kind of stuff. I mean, you, that's what I would, would be, like. If you're just be looking to test, like, I mean, if I could have gotten a, a a an extra OLED at that price, that would have been perfect. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's what I was said. Like, if at that price, I would have been like, okay, like it's brand new in the box. Um, you know, like, and it's not even like I would use it as my main screen or anything like that. But it's good for. I mean, I'll know. I'll I'll, I'll, ad I'll admit that that John's gushing about using. Using a 42 inch, I think she's using a 42 inch C2 as this computer monitor. Like it's kind of uh, really. I, he's been tempting me. Yeah, I mean, keep, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying I'll go through with it. I mean, probably someday. Probably some. Probably someday I will end up with, you know, some type of OLED for for my monitor. Mm -hmm. it's, it's I I see it as a matter of time. But. See, I feel like I can't. I, I I enjoy having ultra wide too much that I can't go. Oh well, I, I don't I don't care about that. I just I I'll just, I you know as long as I have like a side monitor of any kind. Mm -hmm. I got I don't, I don't <laughs> two side that. monitors and a monitor up above. <laughs> so it's a little ridiculous as it is. But it, it's very funny. Like oh well you know the rest of the room there's no there's no HDMI stuff in there. <laughs> it's like well. You know, not not for long, and then you just like you'll be playing most games in there. And be like, well, I'll just like get, I'll put you know, put my duplicate HDMI systems up there. <laughs> All right. 
Um, there was uh, 499 from uh, uh, Kohibadad. Uh, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Kohib. Thank you. Saying someone needs to do a welfare check on Voltar after his marathon mod stream gone bad the other day. Uh, oh. I saw I saw someone I saw someone post a, a, a video. Clip. I mean, he was obviously obviously uh, joking slash doing it on purpose. Where he was acting like he was going outside to going outside to pee, and he was like bad mouthing the chat while he was outside. He was oh, it's like li life. like that. I saw him say something like, "Oh, I should have." You know, like not yeah. like a live mic. I mean, something. he was obviously doing it for laughs. He's he he has been he was he was he was chatting in our uh, Discord earlier today though, so he seems to be alive and well. I, I don't know any further details about that particular stream. But yeah, I've been I've been I, I've actually had a lot of fun. Um, testing and making comparisons and stuff with that uh, uh, that mod. You know, I, I, I'm not going to promise that the video will be out by next week's stream, but it's it's. Possible. It seems like you're like moving along on I'm it. Moving like, along real quick. pretty good. Like, I, I hope I've, I've gathered, I think, almost all of the information I need through my tests and stuff to get the script pretty close to finish. I might need to there's another couple of little things I'd like to test, mm -hmm. um, but I should be able to get the script locked down uh, probably by Tuesday. Um, and I've already got a lot of material recorded and comparisons built and stuff, so it should come together pretty quickly. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, it's actually I don't know why it's just been kind of it's just been kind of fun to f fun to do. I mean, it's. It's, it feels like a throwback video for us. I mean, when's the last time we did a video that's just on an RGB mod? Yeah. It's been like just an analog thing. RGB mod. It's, it's, it's a throwback. Yeah. And you like even have like comparisons to the Frame Meister in it. And the right? RSSC. Yeah, like I decided, well, because I thought it would be interesting since it is just a video about a new RGB mod. Yeah. I was just like, well, you know, we can't do it for every episode because it's just it's too much to like hook up like all of these older scalers. But I thought in this case, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to, you know, if someone's still using a Frame Meister or OSSC or RetroTink 2X or whatever, yeah. like I want to show you what the difference is going to be on these. And I, I, I showed Voltar uh, a screenshot from the comparison I did with the RetroTink 2X. Mm -hmm. And I think, like, he probably had to go, like, change his underwear because <laughs> he was making a pretty big reaction. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I never thought to test it on the RetroTink 2X. And, like, I almost feel like the difference between the unmodified system and then the modified system is like maybe the most pronounced there so for so, like it's not what you would expect but like oh, it, so it, it is a stark difference um it's like how do i even fight this how do i how do i even do this there's so many of these things like 10 percent health that's not even fair Come on. It's like this is not even. I, I, there's just, I have zero chance against, against these dudes. Zero chance. Like, are there not enough health refills when you enter the lava? Yeah, basically. Well. You've got better than zero chance. You just just have to play carefully. I just gotta. Oh, jeez. Slow and methodical. <laughs> that didn't work out well. Just, 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 just go slow and methodical. You can do it. I believe. You 
know, you shoot the guys from afar, you duck behind cover, yeah. one at a time. All right, well, let's see this. <laughs> How did that? That did not go well. All right. Oh, you know what? Uh, you know what I, I ordered on eBay. Um, uh, Yakuza two, one and two, uh, for the PS2, like me. B uh, both, no. both brand, brand new, like unopened. And it's a package oh. deal. Uh, why did you get the PS2 versions? Because I guess they're kind of different, and they're both like dual layered. PS2 games, so I just wanted to, you know, it's just kind of a good thing to have, I guess, also. And I, I do want to see, like, uh, how different they are. You know, like, there's a lot of, I don't know, like, I, I started Yakuza 4 on New Year's Day. Yeah. And I, I think I said to you, I said, where this is, this really feels like where they truly, I guess, figured out. Every, like basically everything like how how to tell the story better because it like jumps between like different people and the way the narrative is constructed it makes me feel like they've had certain uh ideas in their head since like the first game yeah and it's starting to kind of pay off here and it's kind of crazy that uh you know like one of the characters like i i don't know if he shows up I'm curious if he shows up in the original because he's just like a throwaway character in a cutscene in the uh, in the uh, first game, at least in the Kiwami version. I'm curious if they only added him in the Kiwami version because they knew he was going to be a, a bigger deal later on. But if he's there, if he's just like some random character, it's like, didn't you like talk, you told me about some horror movie or something like that where it's like some character is only like in the background or something like that in like one movie it almost seems like like a like not even supposed to be uh, like anybody it was never meant to be anybody and then they like took that character and made something with them with them but maybe i'm mistaking it i mean that sounds like a thing but i i for some reason my brain's not connecting uh, okay what that could be um but i mean i you could get them both for like seventy dollars, like brand new. So I was like, I like as as a bundle deal. But yeah, that is, I guess, that is how Star Wars does stuff. I just was kind of in, in, like impressed that it it just really feels because the storytelling is on a whole other level uh, in the fourth one, I think. But anyway, no, I didn't. That is not what I ordered. Um, okay. Uh, I have not tested this yet, so hopefully it works. But. Uh, this is something that I heard. I I, I heard uh, uh, CGP Chris gushing about this on one of your podcasts. Oh, and I don't think you have one, but he got one. And there was at least one or two comments in the games we played telling me to get this for uh, the earlier Ridge Racer games. But I got oh, we got Nichicon. A Nichicon. Oh, nice. I've so, had one like I've almost got one like many times. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's like 50 it, it bucks. Seems, huh? Is it like 50 bucks? It's like 50 bucks. Yeah. yeah. Um, this yeah. one seems to be in pretty, pretty nice shape. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for the people who don't know, it's like, it's this Namco, Namco controller. And it does have the official PlayStation logo on, but it's from Namco, much like the gun con is from Namco. And it, it twists. And it's like for, it's like for racing games. Yeah, and it's got these like these red buttons on the top. They're like super long. And they're kind of weird. Like they they have a really long travel distance. So I get, I'm assuming they're analog pressure sensitive. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got like an analog L button and an L log R button. I'm noticing that the R button has like a GameCube style click at the bottom. And the L button doesn't seem to. Anyone who has one, do you know if that's normal? Is it not supposed to have a click on the on the L side? Oh, and Saint Rope says works on Mister with Snack. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, you should yeah, get Wipeout also. That's another one I think it works with. 
Oh, I, yeah. I, I think it works on all of the PS1 and PS2 Ridge Racers, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but some people were saying, like, I would probably, like, get into the groove with uh, the earlier Ridge Racers a little bit more easily with this. And it, it does seem like something I would like. Um, I've never really taken to like racing wheels that much, but this, this seems like something it's, it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. I'm, I'm looking forward to looking forward to actually properly trying it. the, uh, the seller that I ordered it from had like a lot of controllers. Um, they had like a, they had some sort of deal where you, if you ordered three things, you got some percentage off the third thing. So I also got like one of the white multicolor Saturn controllers. Oh, nice. Um, and I also got jumping flash. Oh, nice. I see that you decided not to get the one and two pack or whatever. Like two comes with one. Uh, I, I, for, I actually totally forgot about that, oh. but I just, I saw this on that, um, I saw this on that channel or that channel, that eBay store. And I just wanted to look for three things. I'm like, Oh, jump in flash. I'll get that. Yeah. I did totally forget about that though. Now that you mentioned it. So is two only sold with one or, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just know that I got. I need to. I need to look into that. I, 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 I just I laugh every time I see the one I totally that I got at Book Off when we were there, like right before we flew out, flew back. Yeah, and it was a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> it has both of them in it. That's amazing. Yeah, it's just it's funny to think think about that. There was a five dollar super chat from Johnny the Whiz Kid. Oh, saying Thank I tried you. to play my old CD Doom game. Uh, my computer keeps uh, telling me my files are missing and it won't accept it. Is the only way is the only way with your old computer. Uh, you know, some folks in the chat, I'm sure, could give you a lot more advice about how to uh, to run uh, run Doom on an old computer. I mean, with like modern computers, like people tend to play either with like I think it's called GZ Doom or. Or the Steam. Yeah, there's so many game. different versions of it. John right, recommended like, one to me. And you, any game that runs in the Doom engine can run in those engines. And they're just they're they're kind of updated, more modern versions uh, that that maybe have some more modern like graphical and control features. You know, that was how I played. I I played. Um, I streamed Chex Quest. And I played that in I think GZ Doom. But if you're actually trying to play on an actual old computer, like on DOS or something, neither of, neither of us know much about running stuff yeah. in that kind of environment. If you're actually trying to play on an old computer, um, but I'm sure some folks in the chat could could. I, I'm sure there's a ton of people in the chat who uh, you know just, all about running Doom on old computers. Yeah, on literally everything probably. <laughs> Go on, go up. Go on. There we go. You know what else I did? I, uh, I, w I went to the local game store one day this week to do a little, little post Christmas shopping. Mm -hmm. I got, um, I got, I got quest puzzle challenge for the game boy. <laughs> Which is is part of the, you know, the Quest sixty four yeah. lineage. <laughs> it was only nine bucks. Um, I got I got. It's kind of amazing to me how many of, the, of those games there were. Yeah, it is amazing, right? I mean that there's. I it's there it's amazing there's three. more than one, honestly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But now I think I have them all. I don't. I don't think there's anything I'm missing. But I've got. I've got Brian, Brian's journey, uh, quest, 
Puzzle Challenge, and of course, Quest 64. It is amazing that it's more than one game. Uh, and by the way, Quest Puzzle Challenge, it's it, it's Mr. Doom is basically what it, it's it's what it, it's Mr. Doom. You, you dig around in the dirt. <laughs> Um, also got Gyrus on NES, which which I got specifically because I went, I think it was the day after we did our Atari stream. Mm -hmm. and, and like, I was reminded, I was like, oh yeah, Gyrus, that's a game I should own on something. You know, it's a pleasant little game. And this one's Konami, or at least pu pu published by Ultra. Um, and then I got Zezix, Zexies, I don't know how you say it on NES. <laughs> Zexixes? That's a, Zexixes? That's, that's, the, that's probably my, my favorite game sack <laughs> ending skit when they're like are talking about like how they, how you pronounce it. And Dave says, oh, I thought it was Zexixes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that one. I, I also got, remember, like... Remember that? Uh, remember how we were so surprised, but when you loaded up that random uh, GameCube game, you're like, "What's this? Space Raiders?" And oh, it's like, oh, there it was. Space Invaders, except you're a human on the ground mm -hmm. in 3D. I got that for the GameCube. And I also, I, I I have no idea if this is good. Oh, you got Stretch Panic. I got Stretch Panic. Oh, that's awesome. I, uh, I don't even know if it's good. No, it's, like, it's 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 not it's not it's not it's, great, but it's like it's too weird to not give it a chance. I feel that is that is the game that's on the on, like the only released issue of uh, of Game Go, Game Go magazine, oh. which was the uh, the follow up to um, Game Fan. Do, do you think? Do you think? Uh, how streamable do you think? Uh, I mean, it's not considered to be very good, but I think that. I think that you'll think that it's interesting. Yes. I mean, that is... It seems I, I, interesting. I've That's almost gotten it, like, many times. And I mean, it looked like it had, like, a $30 price tag on it. Eh, it was 40 Okay. So, I mean, it's, I it's up there. I, I don't think it was, like, an amazing deal, but it seemed about average price. Yeah. Well, like, I saw it, and I was like, well, you know... <laughs> I, I, I had a rebate card from, <laughs> from buying well, dog was... medicine. I, yeah. For like like a sixty dollar rebate card, and so so my I was not feeling very price sensitive. Yeah, uh, I mean that's how so I feel I like when I basically get uh, oh this oh oh my gosh that you kind of crush them there. That's how you crush them. You can crush them. You can turn them into little gibbs. That's how you can crush them. You can crush them. Uh, um, yeah, I guess that's I didn't have to shoot them the way I did, but that's that's could have saved me. It saved me some time. Uh, I'm sure people were shouting it at me in the chat. As you know, as I was thinking, how am I going to do this? Um, oh, jeez. But yeah, there's been many times where I've almost like bought uh, Stretch Panic. Yeah. I'm a little, I'm a little jealous that you, you got it because now. <laughs> well, the the, the 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 guy at the store was was looking at. It. He's like, I never heard of this. He looks on the bag. He's like, I haven't heard of the developer either. I'm like, oh, I mean, it's treasure. I mean, they made like some of the most iconic games on the Sega Genesis. You know, like Gunstar Heroes and Die My Heady. And he's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, no, no, I don't, I'm not familiar. I got the impression he was a Nintendo guy. I should have I should have said Sin and Punishment, but it slipped my mind. Oh. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's, uh, I'm a little, I'm a little, uh, a little jealous to end up getting that. Um, I'm trying to think if I ended up, if I got, I haven't been like shopping, shopping in a long time. That was the first time. I, I, I don't think I'd been since maybe September. Something that. There we go. I mean, this, the double barrel shotgun is. It, at the time, I, I felt like, oh, it's just like it's kind of cool, like, but it feels. Whoa, these guys! These guys are new. 
uh, no, it, it, it's it's great. Um, but at the time, I think that I felt like it didn't seem that exciting. Well, I mean, it's it's like considered like the most iconic game gun in the game and the most iconic shotgun in all of games. The double barrel, isn't it? Oh, I I, I don't know. Maybe uh, the super shotgun. Really, is, is that what it's called? It's a super shotgun. Um, it's just I I remember thinking at the time like oh that doesn't seem very exciting. Uh, you know, like just one gun, one new gun in the sequel. But I mean, what do I know? Right? What am I getting hit by? What am, what's, who's who's hitting me? Um. Uh, there was a five dollar super chat from Johnny the Whiz Kid. Oh, Thank another you. one. Thank you. Um. Oh, saying uh, as a follow up. I think the best way to stream old CD games is to get a Windows XP or below with USB, use an OSSC or RetroTank 5X and connect it to your modern computer. Yeah, like if you got like VGA output, mm -hmm. you know, like connect that to OSSC or you got a way to convert that to RetroTank 5X or uh, the 4K has a, a VGA input. Um, yeah, uh, I think that would be great. I know that. Like John tested like a bunch of like retro PC stuff on the retro team 4k. And I'm sure most of it probably works well on the OSSC OSSC. Um, Can I get in there? Yeah. I, you know, I kind of, I kind of gave up on the idea of like doing any like retro PC stuff a while back. Cause I was just like, ah. yeah, like I, it's just like, that's not so much my area anyway and like it just it, it seems like a lot of hassle and a lot of effort and know-how that i kind of don't have because i don't that's I don't very satisfying have... <laughs> right there that's very satisfying and you just hear them all dying <laughs> um i uh you know I, I never really had an opportunity to have a lot of hands-on experience with computers like pre windows 95 mm -hmm. um so like like dos era computers and windows 3.1 and that kind of stuff like I don't, I don't have a lot of experience and even then like i didn't have like good computers back in those days so like they couldn't really play like current games or anything so like i don't have a lot of experience and i feel like if you it's it's hard to acquire that experience i think um you know if you didn't really grow up like understanding some of the quirks and limitations of using some of those machines yeah you know, something that i kind of want to do sometime though like you can get like windows 95 up and run on that one like mystical right right on the ao46 like it should be fairly straightforward I now i think i don't know how good it runs like i i don't even really want to play games on it like i kind of just like like it for like to be able to film stuff i just it. want to like like use like winamp or something in it, right like like i don't i don't know like i just i don't know i just i i think it'd be cool like to, to just set up and use apps of the era where they weren't people didn't call them apps you know, Winamp is is still around. Now it's back. I guess it's been it's been back for a little while now. Yeah, I, I heard people said there's something controversial about the new iteration. I don't remember. What it was. Probably I don't know. like NFTs or something. Oh. I, I don't. I don't remember what it Dude, was. Dude, NFTs have sort of like like nobody is like doing NFTs anymore. Have you noticed? Like it's like completely dis disappeared from the entire public conscious. I mean, was anyone ever really doing NFTs? <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of people made money saying, on it. They were saying, they were talking, to, they're talking about it, but I mean, it's just, it's just very funny to me that it's been so destroyed in the in the in the public consciousness that because remember when Square Square Enix Enix was even saying like, oh, you know, we're gonna make it a big push for us. Oh, yeah. And yeah, everyone's like, why would you do that? that kind of stuff has been never going to oh, for sure. Oh gosh. It's a 
surprise, guys. And here I am. I'm in here with you. I, I'm... How much of the strategy, for people that have played this a lot, how much of the strategy revolves around getting the enemies to fight with each other? Is there, is there certain parts you can only pass if you get the enemies to fight with each other? I mean, I bet, like, pro, pro players are just, like, blowing through everything. Yes. Not really, like, doing that kind of stuff, probably. I don't oh, none. <laughs> none. That, no, that, none of it. That's kind of what I, I would have assumed. But Bartman says it helps quite a bit, especially to save ammo. Which, uh... Yeah. Man, that's the second time that's happened where they have an enemy like right at the exit. Oh man. <laughs> like well over the par. I mean, who's thinking that you know, the the par for this is like you know, you should be aiming for two two minutes thirty seconds. Yeah, like that, like part part is such a weird. You've entered deeply. Part is such a weird term because, like, when I first learned the term par, like, I kind of understood it to mean average, but it always seems like. It seems more like average if you're good, right? Mm -hmm. Like that, that seems to be the context that it's actually used in. I don't know. Ooh, oh, geez. I mean, yeah, par is a golfing well, term. And yeah. I'll, I'll be honest. I, I first learned what it was oh, was this? Mario Golf on N64. <laughs> I mean, I'd probably seen it in some context, but just didn't care because it didn't affect my life. I Mario Golf on N64. Suddenly, I need to know what par means. And I was just like, oh, it's like the average. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like the middle of the road. Nothing special, nothing too bad. And I guess that's the case, but like, I, I, when I see the term used as like, you know, outside of that, like in, in a game or something always the par time in a game like this always seems to be like actually something quite difficult to get yeah like certainly not something that you would get on the first time through yeah par for the course like yeah that that just means like yeah that's like whatever right but then like when you see you know like an actually fast time, like to me that a, 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 a quote unquote, if you're gonna call it a par time, to me it should be like, what's the average time people get the first time they play that? Like that should be par. Yeah, like the average. Yeah. And like that two two minutes and thirty seconds is not going to be average for the first time people play through that level. It's just not gonna be unless they're all like pro That's gamers. <laughs> Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, totally to the side of that, I guess. Um, uh, I had talked to you about this on like, when I finally was like uploading that video, the, the year end video. Uh, I decided that I would I would give in and play um, Fortnite with my son. So I put it on the PS Five. And uh, I play Fortnite. It's, it's like it's pretty fun. It's pretty I fun. Mean, I mean, you know, drum, 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 drum. Somehow got into it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's very. Uh, I don't know. You just it doesn't take a lot, like a lot of like thought or effort. Although <laughs> I, I was curious when I was playing because I thought it felt. One, there's one of two situations happening. Either everyone's playing on really crappy wireless internet, and I'm like on like fast wired internet. So that that makes it so 
you know, like a lot people just like really couldn't couldn't hurt me. Uh, they'd miss constantly, and or they, I was just like pretty decent at it, just like out of the gate because so my son had never like won a match. And we play like the doubles or whatever, like non-ranked. So I'm sure that probably has a big part about it. Is that we play like the non-ranked, and uh, like we won, we won the like the round. <laughs> my my first time playing. So I don't I don't know if it's just everyone's like really bad, or if it's just because of everyone's like playing on crappy uh, internet connections. So I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but it, you know, it's 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 pretty fun. Yeah. And I was joking to you because like now they're they have like a a solid snake skin, and I'm like, oh, they're they're gonna get me to put money into this thing. Did you buy a battle pass, Corey? No, no, I have not bought a battle pass. Will you buy but, a battle pass? You're gonna buy. It. <laughs> I don't know. I but you know, just having snake in there, it's like, oh, you know, that's kind of makes it a little bit more tempting. I, 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 I got to be entirely honest with you. I, I'm like, the concept of battle passes has been explained to me. And I I, I, I am still not 100% sure that, like, my brain really knows what a battle pass is. It's just... I could I, not, it's, I could it's, not it's, make it's like an a, explanatory video telling people this is what a battle pass is. Um, I think it's just like uh, it's all the content for that that season or something like that. The uh, that you can you have the option to unlock if you play it enough. I I, I think I don't know. I I assume that that's what the the case is. Man, I I hate this whole idea of like seasons and these multiplayer games now though. Like stuff that comes and goes and if you, you know, well, miss it and. But you know, or I, even even just like the idea of like leveling up, like what happened to just your characters are what they are, and well, that's what I think match. is like that's why I like you not level up your skill levels up. Well, that happens too. Well, no, I mean you, you, you personally, you the person behind the controller well, because, because they got to keep you get better at the game. I. I get that, but, but, but that's all about you know. It's, you, every multiplayer game's gonna have XP and stuff. Like but that. this is, but it's also what keeps them from having to like have a part two. You know, they they can just update this one forever. Which, but I miss the old ways. Yeah, but know. I mean, they it, it just like has more longevity then for for people. I think. I, you know, I, I can't remember what video it was. But because like, you don't want to, like, you have to rebuy everything on the sequel then. You know, like, it's kind of right. nice that you could, you know, you there's only certain skins are only available for a certain amount of time. And, uh, you know, if, if you if you don't get it then, then it's, like, not available. But it might be available later on again. But I, I think it, it makes, it ensures that, that everyone's, going to be more different i think than everyone looks the same too and it gives something for people to strive for i, I could see the way that they're like how they're doing things and like like the value in it there was like in one of the recent digital foundry videos they were lamenting the death of the multiplayer mode you know you know what i mean like you know, there used to just be like a multiplayer mode, and it was just like a fun little thing. It wasn't this like big ongoing thing. Right. If people liked it, they played it. If they didn't, they could ignore it. But it wasn't this like big thing you had to like continue to support and feed. And, you know, I, I get that, but I think that it's the only way that like something like this could do well and compete. These yeah, days. But now, like, there's only so many that can do well and can compete. Right. And Suicide even the ones that are doing well and competing, like, aren't doing massive, well Massive, massive flop. You know, they've put all this money into making it this, yeah. you know, games as a service thing. It's going to be a disaster. Yeah. And, like, they all know it. They know it. Like, this sort of, this sort of, like... Like the kings are established, 
and no one is going. No one like you just you can't. It just seems like you can't carve out a niche in it anymore. Yeah, like that time has passed. Like people are hung up, already hung up on the games that are out there, and I, it just seems like people need to accept for now that they need to like stop yeah. chasing. This I mean, like I think ideal. I think like, that like, that Corvac get is, in on that Fortnite money. You can't. It ain't gonna happen. But even they're not making enough money to keep their people well, yeah. hired. But yeah, but, mean, but what, what Corvac like, says whole, is totally true. This model behind it makes no sense to me. Like, but I don't know. Like what Corvac it's says, it's not for me. So you know, who am I? What, what am I talking about? All this? Me being an old. Look, look what, what Corvac says. He says, you know, like, multiplayer modes are always dead six months after a game comes out, so they just started doing service games to get people people to keep on playing. But, and, but, but, but what about the old offline multiplayer mode? It didn't matter if people weren't playing it after six months. The old offline mode. You know, Pikmin 4, I was surprised to see, like, right when you boot it up, like, there's there's a multiplayer mode available. You, you can do a, a Dandori battle. Which, as you play the game, it, it explains that it's um, uh, it's a uh, uh, you know they, they use a term for it now, dendori. I guess it's a Japanese term that means like organizing and executing your your tasks in an efficient manner. There's hmm. like these like challenges against AI characters throughout the game. Or like you actually, there's like a competitive mode. It just it feels like something that would have been like a, a side mode in N64 GameCube game, and you play it against AI characters where like you're you're just doing like a Pikmin battle where you're you're like trying to gather whoever like gathers the most weight. Dude, the uh, music on this level is amazing. Yeah, that's funny. You say turn up a little bit. Uh, but but whoever whoever whoever. Uh, gathers like the most weight in yeah, stop. objects Make over the happen. course of the match wins. Uh, and it feels, it feels like a good old mode that would have been in an N64 GameCube game. Listen to this. Let's see if I can send it through to you. Can you hear that? Uh, no. Dude, it's amazing. Apparently the chat can't, according to D-Waz at least, can't hear it at all. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> I, I, I heard a little bit of something, but not much. Oh. Discord must hate it. <laughs> This is like the cool guitar riff. Uh, there was two dollars from Jonathan Henson. Thank you, as always. Thank you. Always good to see you. Yeah. Uh, saying, Corey, I love the off the TV shots in your sections of the. Oh YouTube. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I, Even on flat panels, I really appreciate the authentic vibes it gives off. Yeah, I was I was lazy on that kind of stuff. Uh, well, it only like, shows why, up in stuff those that shots I. You had shot previously that. Well, see, like, I can see myself doing that kind of thing more often, like if you know, as we're going to produce it throughout the years. Right. That, I mean, those shots are only in the sections that I had done previously. Yeah. Or like, think, yeah. you know, that I did earlier, I guess. In the... I do feel, in general, like I've done fewer off-screen shots than I used to. Um, I mean, I, I had a few in the in the retro tink video. Um, it's just like, maybe a couple in the duo video, but yeah, it's 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 tough to like prioritize doing those because you don't want to. It's like oh, you know, like I just need to change it up a little bit. And a lot of times to get that stuff, you got to stop what you're doing and set that all up. Yeah, and it doesn't sound very appealing a lot of times. I uh. I like that you just had like a random projector shot in there too. Yeah, I that's that was all. A shot that you had shot for that, <laughs> the projector. <laughs> the sound that it makes when they 
<laughs> what? I, the sound that it makes when they like notice that I'm there is like so intense. <laughs> Hang on, let me see. Because there's I... like so many of them. Yes, let me see if I can send it through to you. It's just, it's just it's so, nonsense. Yeah, it's just so thing. intense. <laughs> I assume you're supposed to just sneak by him, maybe? Because that's a little insane. Well, you should probably turn around and worry about the big guy first. Dude, look at all of them. <laughs> is that the is that the whole this is interesting. I don't know. I don't know what they're going through. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, can I not go out? I can't go back out? Uh-oh. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Oh, gee. The guys get me from the behind, too. Uh, just out of curiosity, how does my how does my voice sound? Because I'm I'm using this microphone that that was sent to me by work, and uh, they had like a budget that they had to uh, hit at the end of the year, and I'm just curious how it sounds. I mean, it sounds totally good for this point. So is the idea that I try to get them to fight the cyber demon? Is that what I want to do? Should I be? I, mean, I, should I, be I feel like you, there, you right? need to like be cognizant of him and like not let him sneak up behind you. Because I think that's insane. Isn't that what I had to do with this? I don't deserve. I guess that's not what I want to do. The uh, the the responses include. You sound good, Corey. Clear. Voice balance all sounds fine. Not bad. Sounds good to me. Silky Corey. There oh, there they go. So I just, like, stand there. He, he tries to shoot me because he notices me, right? Wow. You a little bit of in a cup sound, maybe? Because, I mean... What does what, it do when the screen is white? I think that's like berserk mode, isn't it? I think it's... Maybe? I don't remember that part. My Jesus, come on. Final Fat 7 says there's also a BFG in this level that makes it Oh, okay. I know. Wow, that that uh, I don't I don't know exactly what you call him, but the, the big guy with the gun on his arm like takes a lot. His like from his like from behind pose is like ultra wrinkly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like muscularly wrinkly. It's. Corvax has his gun. So when you get that, why, why don't you just destroy everything when you get when you just like rip everything. Does that make it? I don't know if it makes my regular gun more powerful. Uh, but if, if, does it make you, if it makes you invulnerable, you should just. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that it made me invulnerable. Oh. Well, let's do that then. They just like blow everything, like just do point blank rockets, right? Yeah. You should redo it. Yeah, that's oh. what I'm doing. There was a five dollar super chat from Mega X Six. No comment, but thank you. Thank you. Jeez, how much does this guy take? Martin 
Pac-Man says, there he goes. whatever big gun you have against the Cyber Demon, when all the Barons are Rex dude says uh, way too low bitrate on the stream. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, what I is your bit? I don't I feel like your your bitrate is probably not that bad because you usually. I mean, you've got fiber internet, so you usually use like pretty. Yeah, I, I don't think I changed it at all. Something about this game, though, just is is disagreeing with the compression. I think that's the problem. Unless you accidentally changed something and didn't realize it. Yeah, I might have. Let's try this. What was it at? It's at 2,500, so it's like way low. So if I... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I know. I understand. I understand. I understand. Did, you, did, did it get reset for some it reason? It may have. I think it's like the default. That's like the default bit rate. Okay. I've cranked it up. So let's see if that helps at all. Oh, it says here, uh, stream's current bitrate is, is, is lower than recommended bitrate. So I must have accidentally, it's, it's 1440p. So I, I just cranked it up. So hopefully, yeah. uh, I don't need to stop and start it again. It should be okay. No, no, no. I, it it must have, it somehow must have, uh, gotten reset for some reason. Cause that's yeah, the, that's, that's like, the default. That's the default. Yeah. Yeah, because normally you do pretty high bit rate because you've got fiber yeah. internet. I can't do as high as you. Okay, yeah, it's, it looks a lot better. <laughs> okay, good. Sorry about that. Dang. Much better. All right. Sorry about that. It was totally, totally watchable. I mean, it looked bad, but the, but it was, the action was parsable. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Did, um, Come on. Did you hear that uh the Pictomancer is coming to Final Fantasy 14? <laughs> Who? Pictomancer. What is that? It's Realm's, it's Realm's job. Oh. That's, I I, di I didn't hear this. No, it well it was the 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 Final Fantasy 14 uh Japanese fan fest kicked off last night oh okay so they they unveiled some new stuff from the expansion that was kind of cool because pictomancer is one of the jobs in bravely default 2 but otherwise i don't think like the artist job has come back to final fantasy since wow. i love that name for an artist job though I pictomancer. Yeah, it's it sounds real. Uh, it's kind of awesome, I think. It is, but it's just oh, this is another image. All right, so it's it's kind of fun that they, you know, they give you an invincibility, so you can see that happen every time, or that you can just mow these guys down. Just too bad it stays. Oh, shoot. That's not what I meant to do. I don't want to accidentally quick save when I meant to quick load and vice versa. Man, they... Oh, God. <laughs> Come on. This this is what happens? Did I... Was I just doing too good? Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, no. <sighs> I, I do want to, want to show you real quick. So I had to... Um, to do that let's play that I did with Turok 3 with John and oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we uh, I had to 
act like create a uh, account for um, like a European because it was a European code only. So I had yeah. to so I had to make like you know I made a uh, Japanese account and a UK account. I just like think that they're very funny if you see my my icons and it's like it's funny uh-huh. that it's it's it's, it's blue green and red, but it's just uh-huh. like it's just I just. <laughs> <laughs> think I don't. I, I think it's very funny, but maybe that's just me. Oh, like RGB. <laughs> but also, just like the different poses. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. I just think it's really stupid. I, I, I noticed. I noticed uh, the other week that you you added glasses. To I your did. Feet. When it should have like been the other way around. Never had glasses. Yeah, yeah. Because I probably made that like when I was wearing contacts. Although, like, I shouldn't even be. Maybe I'll get to remove them again after I go to. Maybe you'll get to remove them again. Yeah. Would everybody be okay I, if know, I did I, I, like a did a did a run in in Hades? Would that would that be oh, all right okay. instead of? Sure. Um. I, so you've been playing the Switch version instead of whatever physical you own. No. <laughs> no, that's that's not what's happening. Oh. 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 Uh, I started playing on PS Five. And then I was like, oh, man, this is awesome. Like, I would love to just, like, play it, like, before I go to bed or something like that. So I was like, oh, it's on sale. It's on sale on the Switch. It's, like, 12 bucks, 12 50 I'm like, you know what? I got, you can redeem my gold points. And I just, like, got it. So I have, like, two different saves going. I have, like, one on PS5. It's, like, my main one. And uh, I have one on here that I just, like, play on my Switch Lite. I, I can play either either one. I, I have a lot more progress in the PS5 version. Well, you should. I mean, I mean, should I play, play a PS5 the version that you're playing? Okay. What, which do I have the PS5 physical? I'm sure. I think I do. Uh, yeah, it's kind of far away, but I, I think I think that's right. one second. I've I've not booted it up. Look at this crazy control. Look at that. What does it do? Watch. Whoa. So yeah, I've been I've been playing this a bunch. Uh, I think it's it's really good. And what I think is kind of interesting about it is that it has an ongoing storyline. And even if you beat it, I'm pretty com- convinced that if you even if you beat it. Like like finish a run. Uh, it's like it's not the end of the story. The story repeat like keeps on going. So well, I don't I mean, really know what be, it takes if to you get it on one run. I could I could imagine. I mean, I've heard it's kind of got like some like persona e uh, like, like 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 relationships. relationship building type stuff. I think, yeah right? yeah. Uh. It's it's very very good though. Um, it's it is funny is though. A, how long has a run taken you so far? So I made it to what I assume is the last boss. Uh, in a in a run, and from what I understand, you know, like the general amount of like a, a good run is like forty five minutes. Okay. So shorter than Returnal. Yes. Yeah. But it's meant to be played more times, I think. I see. And it seems like they're constantly adding stuff. But you know, the uh, the voice acting in this is just incredibly good. Um. Ooh, I hate those subtitles. Well, yeah, I've been. That, that's just well, there, for there's like. A, that, there's a text box. The text box looks fine. Yes. But it's 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 very fun, it's very fun, uh, and you know much like Returnal, like which really sucked me in. I think that I I love the idea of you know playing a game that's like meant to be played in short bursts of time, and every time you fail, you, really it, get to know it. you get you get to know it, but also 
it like doles out like little bits of like incremental improvements that uh, you know make it a little bit easier and give you more of an advantage each time. So it doesn't feel like you're just swimming against this tide all the time. Like, I mean, a, a big thing for Returnal was that the level design was really, really good. Well, it's the same thing here, it. but there's yeah. no map screen in this. Okay. But you'll, you'll see so, the, the you'll get to know the rooms that just appear in different orders. Can you go back? No. Okay, so it's all forward movement. Right. Um, Hattori Hanzo the second was saying that you have to beat him like five times to get the credit ending. If I remember. Oh, okay. Right. I don't know. What, oh, credit ending. I guess you mean like the ending with credits. Yeah. Uh, Hattori's, Hanzo also says, like, now you're getting what makes ro roguelite so good. It's essentially a new form of arcade game. And you know what? Like, that it makes absolute sense. Where it's just, like, meant to be played, like, in short bursts. And you get you get you just get to know it. But also, you know, you're given... Things are constantly changing enough. And you're they're adding new abilities or, like, new story beats or something like that to keep you wanting to, to come back to it. Yeah. I just don't like bad level design. And, you know, if they can, if they can eschew that yeah. aspect, then, then I can totally get behind some of it. I mean, I've, I've long liked like permadeath mechanics, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. So, and you know, I don't, like I don't this... have any problem with the ideas behind it. I just, you know, sometimes the level design is a sticking point, but there have been times in the past where I've, I've accepted, you know, pretty subpar level design because I like the other aspects of the game. Like, um, I, you know, I was thinking recently about, um, was, was this on my 2022 games we played, I think? Um, uh, Monster Hunter Stories 2, which remains the only Monster Hunter game I've played <laughs> through. <laughs> um, uh, like, the level design of that game was so atrocious. Um, some levels were definitely randomized because there were random dungeons that would, like, appear on the map. So they were definitely randomized. But even the ones that um, were, like, part of the story, as far as I could tell, like, I was trying to research, like, are these randomly generated? I don't think they were, but they felt randomly generated because you would see the same geometry repeated again and again and again and mm -hmm. again even in main story dungeons and you would definitely see that same geometry again and again and again and the ones that i'm pretty sure were semi-random um the level design was awful in that game <laughs> but I, I i actually still walked away from the game like like overall enjoying it um uh, like I thought, I thought the the combat was actually really like that game actually had a lot of things that I normally don't like, and I, I and, and I still liked it anyway. Like uh, I normally don't like not having control over your um, supporting party members. Like I, I want to be able to. You know, like it's okay in like an action RPG style context or, you know, something like Final Fantasy VII Remake that lets you switch between the characters and then also like pause the action and give them commands. That, that's fine. Um, or, you know, Final Fantasy XIII, you know, it, it, it works fine in that too because it's, it's more about like changing your strategy than mm -hmm. like the moment to moment command. So it can work. But like that's like... Monster Hunter Stories 2 is like a pure turn-based RPG and not having control over other party members usually annoys me, but I kind of liked it in that game because you were like, you did get to choose your monster and swap your monster in and out. And it the fact that you could kind of predict what the monster would do, but would be likely to do, but they wouldn't always do that thing. Like it could be kind of frustrating, but it really felt like, Hey, you're like, you're like training this wild beast. You're like, you're working with it and learning to 
work together and you don't know for sure what it may do, but um, I don't know. I kind of found that aspect to actually be pretty engaging. Um, but the mm -hmm. level design was just straight up bad, but it didn't, it didn't <laughs> take away my enjoyment of, of the game. Yeah, I, you know, there's really not a lot of level design in this. It's just each room is a different well, it's, encounter. It's just like fights. It's all about the combat. Yeah. This, really, I guess. Yeah. And it's good, you know, it's... I, I think it's it's interesting how many different variables of like weapons and effects and stuff like that you can you can get. You know, um, what what was the name of the game? Um, the uh, the super giant did before this. I'm it's that transistor, is it? No, there was something between this and transistor. It was like um, it was like Pyre or something like that, which I I uh, which I didn't even realize existed. Well, I learned like only in like the past year or so that I I'm like like I thought that was just like some multiplayer thing. Yeah, and it's I don't think it is. Like maybe I was just confused because I, I feel like I feel like I heard that it was like based on like basketball. I, I could be wrong. Maybe it's not basketball. I think it's ba <laughs> I think it, it's like inspired in part by some sport. Hmm. And okay, T T Taylor Keating is calling it three on three basketball visual novel. That sounds like, like I just thought it was something. This, the, this does not sound like. A game called Pyre. Yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, it doesn't sound like something that no, I would assume no. would be called Pyre. Yeah. I mean, there's only three areas. Well, I mean, I technically I four areas. I job communicating what that game is. Yeah. Well, I mean, it feels like it's largely forgotten now. Yeah, like... Especially after this did, like, really well for him. Yeah, yeah. Well, now they're doing Hades too. Yeah. Uh, I I really liked Bastion a lot. Like Transistor was okay. I thought I never played Transistor, but I should. I, I, it's like it's more story focused, right? Like kind of like like uh, like Bastion was, right? right. Um. I mean, I mean it's. I mean, I, I'd say it's pretty similar balance, I guess. Uh, I mean, it's been a long time since I've played Bash. I mean, it's been a long time since I've played Transistor, for that matter. Um, okay, this is the, the weapon that I had when I made it the farthest. I feel like Transistor might have been in one of, in like the very first games we played. I don't remember if I covered it in one of those or not. I really don't remember. Um, the, the main thing... The main thing that, that I remember from Transistor is I did not like the ending. Oh, uh, okay. That's, that's the only thing I really remember. <laughs> yeah, that, you know. But I think a lot of people think the ending's good. I just didn't like it. Uh, the voice acting is, is just so good in this. They almost sound like... Like super calm and really bo like almost bored, but like in a really appealing way. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I that's like the best way that I can. Uh, like they're they're just so used to this mundane life. As yeah, God. yeah, pretty much. And, like, you know, the bosses change, too. I'm gonna... Is it like a right stick dash, or do you dash with a button? Uh, X button. Do you do anything with the right stick? Uh, you, you, there's, like, one weapon that's, like, a gun. Oh, okay. That, that you can be used action. to reload, but I prefer to use, like, the left stick to reload. Wait. Let's use a stick to reload a gun? Oh, you click it. 
But now I just change it so you click the left stick to uh, reload. But you, I mean, you should. I mean, maybe after you beat this, you should play Transistor. I mean, obviously, it, it should take a lot less time. Man, I'm like not doing good here. Sometimes I do better than others. You know, that's. I, I've I've heard that like the bosses like you'll re-encounter them on different runs, but like the fight is like two. Yeah, I mean that's what's happening here. Like there's three different characters that you might run into at the end of the uh, first level or area. It can be one of three. And obviously, like I have more trouble with, with one versus the other because she's just like. Just absolutely crushing me here. <laughs> there was a five dollar super chat from Shadow Mask. Thank you. Saying a, I've like never even with three revivals or two revivals, I've never been crushed <laughs> like bad by her. I love the way oh, he, sh he shakes his head right here. The animation on it when he shakes the it's got like the the key framing on it's really good. Or just like he shakes his like the blood out of his hair. It's just very very subtle, but there's something about it that I notice every time. He, he just like uh, it's hard it. to tell because it's so small. Here. Right, right. Uh, anyway, Shadow Mask says thanks for the great content over the holidays. Here's to more success in 2024. I Thank was you. yeah. I I I guess even a, even aside from our own channel, we we did. Uh, we we did appear throughout uh, DF's uh, holiday content as well. Yeah, yeah. I did. Um, in fact, was it? I think it was today that they released the Sonic Boom one. Oh, that came out today. Yeah. Oh wow, it's like funny it was because that was like yesterday. It was like months ago. Well, oh well, we. we I mean, it was shot filmed it. like like months ago. It was filmed months ago, yes. I mean, the Sonic 06 came out a while back. Sonic, o Sonic Boom was shot months ago. Uh, right. Just didn't get it together. Um, oh, that's right. And John was like, hey, could, could you help us get some content to release over the holidays? <laughs> yeah. So I finished the Sonic Boom, and then we did the Arkham Origins, and then you and John and Alex did the Turok 3. Yeah. And it was cool because the the Road Rash DF Retro went live too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So Which so I like I'm not were... in it, but I just like helped them. I helped with that a bunch. Right, right, right. So we, we had a hand in a lot of their holiday content. That was kinda yeah. kind of fun. The, the Arkham Origins thing was pretty fun to do. Uh on the on the Wii U. <laughs> I, I tried to play up the, the Christmas theme, like, probably more than the actual game does. <laughs> and I was glad that they were able to release it on Christmas. It made it, made it appropriate. The, uh... Oh, it came out on Christmas Day? Yeah. Medusa is, like, probably my favorite character in this. This little, little Medusa head. It's just, like, so... Uh, nervous Medusa? all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she does look fun. She's like the maid. She looks like she clipped behind that door. Oh, maybe maybe she... I... Maybe it looked... Maybe I don't know. Maybe I was looking, <laughs> looking at it wrong. AF seems to have taken somewhat of a liking to you, Nix. <clears throat> but there's a lot of ongoing stories that I wonder how you... Like, how many times it would take to replay it before you see everything? Um, but yeah, the, I, I'm glad that the Road Rash video was able to come out too, because that was that was quite a went on for a while, I guess. Like it was like we worked on it for a while. Yeah, I was I was surprised that that hadn't been released publicly. Yeah. All right, so you want to see what the 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 rail gun looks like? Um, 
Oh, the one with the shield ones is, is the favorite ones. Oh. But there's a rail oh, gun. Says, I saw that Sonic Boom video. I kind of wish John activated the two-player mode the game has for the main game, where one player plays on the gamepad and performance gets way worse. <laughs> In fact, the two-player mode turns off all lighting to help the frame rate. Wow. Really? That sounds amazing. You know, I, I've ordered the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog PS3 version. Uh, because, oh, yeah? So I, I made an order from that, that VGP. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I've never gotten anything from them before, like that Canadian. They same, do it like... Re- I mean, like it, seems like, it seems like I should be paying a lot closer attention to Well, they have like a... Cre- so the thing, the thing to keep in mind is, is not only do you... Uh, like when they, they have... Ship from the, they ship U.S. orders from they, like Niagara Falls. Right, but also... It's like we have the advantage exchange rate also. Uh, so that yeah. that brings the price down even more. So I I made an order and I got like like a bunch of stuff that was on sale. Uh, like I got that that the PS4 version, they did PS4 version like a reprint of the Bayonetta and Vanquish because I only had it on on uh, uh, Xbox One. And I just like oh you know. yeah, you know, and I and I it was nine ninety nine. During the, wow. their sale, and then then it goes down even more though because of the uh, exchange rate. I don't have, I, oh. With what? And it goes down even more because of the exchange rate. Yeah! Wow. So I got a bunch yeah. of stuff, and it was like ninety five dollars. I don't. I don't have. I don't have that version of Vanquish. Yeah, I mean, I just have the. I, uh, I've only got Vanquish on PS3. Oh, there. I mean, I think that it might be might be fifteen dollars now. That's still pretty good. Games of Power Rush that deals five hundred. Not 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 video game perfection. Video. What is it? It's just called VGP. Yeah. It, it's a. It's it's like is it is it like dot ca or whatever. It's a. It's a Canadian. It's a Canadian. Ooh, I like that. Game online game store. It's been around for a while, but like kind of what's made them start to become famous is they do a lot of reprints like they, yeah. they like video game somehow plus, yeah. somehow they i don't know how this is but somehow they've got enough pull with like a lot of these publishers that they can say like hey you know here's this game no one probably cares about but we'd like you to reprint it and of yeah. course there are you know collectors who do care about it yeah you know? or if it's just like a game that went on to be like popular a cult, yeah, a cult hit, and it, you know, it didn't have a, a large print run. Like, yeah, they're like the only ones doing reason, that. I don't know how they're. I don't know how they're getting this done, but they they are doing it. Yeah. And I ignored it for a long time because I was like, oh, you know, it's in Canada. It's probably bad prices. It's probably expensive shipping. I just never paid that much attention. But um, like, it's they they seem to kind of be the. Uh, the talk of the town lately with like some of the Black Friday deals and stuff. Yeah, I didn't buy any games this Black Friday. I bought none. Me either. I I, I only like got this order from them in like general after uh, it was like after Christmas, like between Christmas and New Year's. I just got like a, a few things that were cheap and and because of the exchange rate and everything, it just like ended up. I got like it was like under a hundred dollars for like everything shipped. For like, yeah, like I want to say like six or seven games. Am am I am I just not paying close enough attention lately, or am I kind of right when I say that I feel like I have not seen like twenty and thirty dollar like PS five games a lot. You, you you have been seeing those or haven't been? I haven't been. Like, I feel like, I feel like, like, you do see them, but I feel like a couple of years ago, you know, you, you would have, you know, 20, 30, like, like, you know, PS4, Xbox One games, like, they would get down to, like, $20, $30 pretty quick. Right, and like even a couple of years ago, PS Five and Series X games, they'd be cheap pretty quick. And I, 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 I feel like I've not been paying as close attention to prices lately, but I feel like I'm not seeing those drops as 
much as they have. Yeah, Mega Six says I haven't been. I've seen them drop to thirty nine dollars. I feel like that's kind of what I've. I feel like that's kind of what I've been seeing too. Yeah, maybe I. I don't know. I haven't been paying as close of attention either. Like, I mean, I feel like this is like a thing I've noticed just in the past year. Like, I'd say around, you know, uh, you know, Black Friday the previous year, I still saw a lot of good You know, like Sonic Frontiers got really low really fast. Mm -hmm. I still haven't gotten that, but I'm kind of... Yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm i wondering if there's going to be a version that's going to have the DLC on it, but probably not. I didn't even know there was DLC. I think it just came out, or it hasn't come out yet. Yeah, see, that's... Yeah, the thing, like, like, says the only one I've seen go that low is Callisto Protocol. And you know what? I actually... Um, what did I go to buy? What did I go to buy? I went... I, 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 like, needed to get some sort of computer component at Best Buy. What did I go to get? I don't remember what I, I went to Best Buy for some other purpose. I can't even remember what it was for. It was like oh, shortly after Black Friday. Now I just like like I know uh <laughs> like like one of these like I was like, oh um but I, I I saw I saw both um uh Callisto Protocol and Forspoken for, for twenty dollars. Oh, so okay, I yeah. Like, I just like totally impulse bought them. Like that's, that's yeah, very yeah. unusual. Wait, it was like, it was what and what and forespoken? Callisto Protocol. Oh, okay, yeah. Which like I like forespoken. I'm not too sure sure if I'll if I'll like it or not. But I mean, it, it seemed the, from the demo, it seemed to have like potential in the combat. But I wasn't I, I wasn't too sure. Um, yeah, forespoken. That's right correct pronunciation um <laughs> close up protocol like i know that like when it came out like like people didn't seem too hot on it but like i i, I well it was I, like I, it's like like three like 399 or something like that at, uh at gamestop for a minute there yeah like, i still haven't um, gotten that, I, like, that. I, I really want to give it a chance because like i i kind of feel like i'll i'll like it but i haven't really looked at that much stuff about it i i want to i want to give it a fair shake but I like I just saw them for twenty dollars and I'm like oh, I'm just going to buy. I, 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 I'm <laughs> yeah, I, couldn't help it. I I haven't even gotten that. Uh, I mean, a physical of that that Dead Space remake. But it oh yeah. But I got it on. I haven't either. On the on Xbox, Xbox because it was uh, digitally because they had that deal if you have. I don't know. It was like for it was happening with multiple games for a minute there. Uh, or if you have Game Pass or something like that, you can get that game for like like seven ninety nine or something like that for like oh, the, wow. the digital deluxe. And I'm like, I can't turn that down. But you haven't played it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I do. I do want that. I have no idea like what the price on that is. I know. I feel like I haven't seen the physical for very cheap. But it's also a remake that feels unessential to me. Although people have played it, would, I'm sure would greatly disagree. Kaylee Gamer says this gen outside of Switch, if you count it, this gen feels throwaway. I mean, you know, I was actually thinking about this just the other day. Like, it's sort of weird to think about it this way, but because like PS5 and Series X are like such fast machines and load so quickly but mm -hmm. like i feel like the reason i play more switch even though i play docked almost all the time like it's not like convenient because it's handheld for me um it just like i don't for some reason it just feels quicker to turn on the switch and play like get get to the action and it, maybe it's just the types of games that I tend to have on Switch more so than anything. Whereas, like, PS5 games feel like a bigger commitment, I guess, maybe. But, like, I just, I, I feel, it almost feels to me like as fast as the PS5 and Xbox Series X are. 
Like it still feels to me like I can just like get quicker to the game on Switch, even though it usually has worse load times. I I don't know. Does does that make any sense? Like it just it just for some reason the the Switch just feels quicker to get to the point. And it's like yeah, such I, a turnaround from the Wii U because like man, if you like I didn't really think about it back in the at the time. But like the Wii U interface is so unpleasant to use nowadays. <laughs> like, you know, like like just going into the settings menu takes forever. Wait, the, like wait, the settings this... is this whole like separate app, right? It, it has like the longest load. Oh wait, wait, it, what what does? The Wii U the like loading the, the settings app. Oh, the oh, Wii the Wii U. Oh, okay. Yes. I mean it's always been horrible. But yes, I, I mean, know, but I, just, I, I probably thought about it a little back at the time, but like revisiting it anytime I revisit. Like, how was this ever acceptable? Like, even yeah. it, like to the slightest? Yeah. Like, not just the settings menu, like everything about it is super slow, but I feel like the settings menu is like the worst thing about it. Especially because, you know, nowadays, like you you might want to switch the system to 720p or 1080p depending on the game. Yeah, and so I mean that's like the only reason I ever load the settings menu is change resolution, um, and it's it's terrible, it's terrible, uh, and and the switch is just like so much more to the point, <laughs> so much more to the point. Yeah, yeah. The only thing, good thing about Wii menu is the sounds. I mean that is something that I. I mean, I know you wouldn't really agree because, like, you always, like, turn off, like, system music. But I, I love system music. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like it's part of the identity of the system. And I always find it to be really, like, just, like, chill and relaxing. Like, like sometimes, like, if I, if I finish, like, playing a game on PS5 or I, I used to do it with PS4, like, I always left the system music on. Like, I, like... You know, and I was, like, not ready to go to bed. Mm -hmm. But, like, I would just, like, quit the game and just, like, let listen to the system menu music for a while while I just, like, look on my phone or something. You know? <laughs> it's just it's just very relaxing. It, like, it's just, like, you you don't like it, but I, 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 I love yeah, it. Yeah, because, I mean, sometimes I end up just, like, leading on in the background, and I would rather have it be, like, have silence than... Well, and see that, but see, I, that's what I'm doing. I'm leaving on, sometimes I'll leave it on when I'm eating. Like, I'm not going to just like leave it on in the background for hours. Like if I'm trying to like work or something. Yeah. But like, if it's just like, if I'm just like relaxing before bed or I'm like eating in the other room or something, like I, I just, I, 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 I like listening to that, like PS4, PS5 music and you know, the Wii, the Wii U is, is nice too. Um, that, that stuff is nice. I, I like, I mean, the aesthetic of the Wii U stuff isn't great, but it's not terrible, but, uh, but it's just usability wise. It's, it's garbage. Yeah, I agree that the Switch UI feels like there could be more to it, but, but it's been, it's been I, fine. I, I, I wish, I wish there was like folders. It's amazing that like we will ultimately not get folders. Well, it seems like folders are just like not in vogue, period. Yeah, I don't understand why the PS5 doesn't have folders. Well, it's all, it's all about it's all about tailoring the content to 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 you and your needs, and we want to show you what's most relevant to you and what you play the most. Like, ah, yes, I will play this game <laughs> that I was just playing, so it should be there and accessible. No, I want to organize things the way I want to organize. <laughs> Well, I can understand I having like a few like your last five, but you should be able to have drop downs. Like I feel like the PS4 did it totally fine. I Although mean, it doesn't, can, it would be nice if you could just you it would just take pin, you to like whatever game you put in the disc drive or something. You can pin games to never go off of your right. PS5 dashboard, which I do with Final Fantasy fourteen. Yeah. So I, I don't do it with anything else because you know I use a disc for everything else pretty much. So if I put the disc in, then it automatically goes to the front. But Final Fantasy XIV, it could fall off the front page. And I don't play it with a disc, so I 
it wouldn't bring it to the front automatically, so it just, it just makes sense to keep it on the front. Yeah, the 3DS has folders, the Wii U has folders, like folders, like no matter how much people want them, like for some reason, aren't popular anymore and I don't get it. I don't know what the chill actually does. <laughs> see, see, View Law says, how cool would it be to create a virtual game room in a future console? You know, I mean, that's something that I've been envisioning for a long time. Like, I, I remember thinking, like, what if, like, before the Wii came out, I was like, what if the Wii interface was Animal Crossing? Like, like what if, like, Animal Crossing was, like, <laughs> the, inter the interface? For, and, for and, and you can't. I so mean, like you, that is not. You like sound. launch your games, like you boot up Animal Crossing, you do what you want to do in Animal Crossing for the day, and then you boot up your games through in your house. <laughs> I was like, oh, that would be so awesome. But now I'm now I think about that. I'm like, that would be terrible. It would yeah. be so slow to do anything. To do anything, yes. But at the time, I thought that'd be awesome. Uh, like, it, if, if, you know, it could maybe work if they have, like, PS5 quality loading. And, like, they start you off, like, rather than being, like, like, they start you off, like, maybe, like, up close on a TV screen. It's, like, your interface... And you can just like instantly do what you want, but then if you hit like the B button, then it like zooms out from the TV and you're like in your house. And you can leave and go to your island and do whatever. Like, I mean, like, I mean I, I'm, not, I'm yeah. not talking just like an Animal Crossing themed interface. Like, I'm talking like the entire game of Animal Crossing is the interface. Right. right? Like, for that, the, you know, like if, if they could do it in a way where it was not in the way of just getting to the game, if or getting to your settings or whatever. If it was just instant and fast, and you didn't have to like walk around. Might help. That would be fine. But but I do miss the personality that like, you know, of, of the prior Nintendo menu systems, but um you know, I wish it's gonna it be interesting. Like I I wonder when when did the original Switch get revealed. Was it in January? Well, it was October. It was. Well, I mean, there's a few things to keep in mind. It was revealed in October and released in March. But Nintendo had nothing to lose for announcing it before Christmas. Right. <laughs> like, they had nothing to lose. They wouldn't announce it before Christmas uh, this year or this time around. So it makes sense, like, why we haven't seen it yet. I've... I mean, I'm really hoping it's not going to be like a November thing. I think releasing consoles in November is so stupid. I know. Well, I talk about this a lot where I, I miss the days of like either. I, I think it was really cool to release one and to do it in March. It was awesome. But I, I because I, I just like it in, are, in like August or something like that. I think it's like a great time. I think I think I'd be great. I mean, even September, like, I mean, I'd settle for October, but. Like, N64 was September? I wouldn't mind September. You know, that'd be pretty cool. But here's the thing. I just do not understand the logic of releasing in November. Because the enthusiasts will always buy all yeah. the stock. They will. I mean, I mean, even the Wii U. You know? Like, right. it's going to sell out. Yeah. To enthusiasts right away. So, the people who are just shopping for Christmas presents, they're not going to be able to get one anyway. So let the enthusiasts get what they want first through the first couple of waves of shipments. Let them get it. And then, mm -hmm. you you know, let word of mouth spread. And then people can get it for Christmas. Like, like that just makes so much sense to me. And I don't understand why it's always got to be November. Yeah. It just, it's stupid. 
yeah, it just, it makes, it, I just think it's cool to do it, like, especially if it's, you know, when kids are going back to school, like, that's kind of exciting for them. It would be exciting for them. I mean, it'd be something to look forward to. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I would love, like, August. So yeah, I, I I mean, again, I mean, Nintendo always, you know, for a long time now, they've they've played things close to the chest. You don't usually know a lot about what they're releasing until only a few months before it releases. Um, so like I said, I think earlier, like we know Princess Peach Showtime, we know Luigi Mansion Two remake, we know Thousand Year Door remake. <laughs> Do we know anything else? Uh, we don't know much. Yeah, I mean, maybe we do, but it's not something that I've been thinking about, like, I guess. I just... Yeah. Like, even those I'm not thinking about now. I guess, but the only thing that I'm, like, and I know that it's going to happen, like, so it's, like, silly for me to even think about it. I'm just, I'm just, like, there's part of me that's afraid that there's not going to be, like, backwards compatibility. I, I, I mean, it, I mean, it's valid. I'm, I, I have these concerns as well. It would be insane for them not to have that. It would be insane. Because I mean, considering the amount of people's, the yeah. like, because you know, I bet you people, I bet you people have bought more games for the Switch than like any other system. In in like a lot of people's lifetimes, I think. Oh yeah, well because I mean it's just it's so there's so many games that are so appealing. Right. To play in that that kind of context. Yeah, there's three um, in this one. I mean, there was that MVG video where he was saying, you know, because of, you know, the hard the the chipset that it's believed to be using, you know, it, it would it would not it would not necessarily be an easy task to make it fully back. I, I'm pretty sure it'll be backwards compatible because it would be so insane for it not to. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think just like, you know, I, I think, I think, uh, you know, PlayStation and Xbox are kind of locked into their libraries that they have right now. Like those libraries start from PS4 onwards, from Xbox One onwards. The games that you bought for those systems are going to have to, you know, be available in perpetuity. Like they, they have established themselves as like, You know, it's like a, a, a library of games that you can rely on to exist uh, in a similar way that you could steal, right? I think I think that's the pitch, right? That's that's yeah. what that's what those libraries need to be. I think PS4 and Xbox One are going to live on forever uh, because of that. And I think I think with Switch, Nintendo has done the same. I think Nintendo has made a library that will move on with you forever yeah that's what i mean they, i i because because it, they've had such success with it i don't think they can back away from it. right yeah um my concern more so is will the backwards compatibility be good or will it be better in any way like i i could see nintendo playing it so careful that it's like oh it's going to run 100 percent exactly the same as it did on switch like it's it's not going you're not going to get a performance benefit you're not going to get you know if it's a variable uh resolution game you're not going to get higher resolution bounds you know maybe there could be some you know games per game patches which i could imagine applying to a lot of mm -hmm. first party stuff she's always saying but um i'm i'm just i'm nervous I, I'm nervous that know your husband's shattered by what happened with the two they're just going to play it so safe and that backwards compatibility is going to be totally boring. Yeah, I, well, yeah. But I think that they know that they can't. Which wouldn't be the end of the world, it wouldn't be the end of the world. it would be a disappointment. It would be a disappointment. Yeah, I mean, all they need doesn't even have to do much. Just, like, allow you to use the extra power for games that are unlocked, have unlocked frame rate. Yeah. That's all it yeah, needs. Exactly. Exactly. That's all, that's all it needs. I mean, which is the same thing PS5 does. Well, you know? yeah, yeah. Is Have they ever... 
Have they ever done that? No. Where it allows like, like a dish. As far as I know. But a lot of those old things, I... like they run in a different mode. Like hopefully it won't be like like the Wii U where it's like you got to boot into a Switch mode. Right. I, I don't think they would do that, but it's possible they could use like Switch specific hardware or Switch clocks or something like that. But, but, but who knows? Who knows? Um, I, I hope that's not what will happen, but I'm nervous that they would play things safe yeah oh it's gonna be exactly the same way same as it was i mean as far as i know there's zero difference playing gamecube games on here like, i'm sure if there's an example i'm sure someone in the chat can correct me but i'm i'm not aware of any gamecube game that runs any day. Yeah, Nintendo's not gonna go all digital because Japan. Uh, in I mean, particular, need, need a new remaster. I like, I feel like they they won't make them run exactly the same because of like the enhancement they've done to like N sixty four games on the uh, um in the app. Oh, where like Pilot Wings runs on capped and stuff. Yeah, I mean it's not an enhancement. The original game technically could hit 60 frames per second if you were looking at the sky. <laughs> yeah. Um, good good, good point. point. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking I mean, straight up at the sky, there's is, nothing else on screen. <laughs> my point is they didn't have to do anything. Except for the, they didn't have to like remove a the frame. shaded back, sky. Right? Just... They didn't have to remove any... Yeah, we got a uh, got a five dollars super chat from 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 chicken and fish. Ooh, I, um, I I I think it's been truncated. I don't I don't think the whole message is here. Uh, saying uh, I've had some tough times financially throughout. Oh wait, there's a part there's a part two five dollars super chat. Uh, here we go. So we got the whole story here. We got, I've had some tough times financially throughout my life. Some self-inflicted, others out of my control. Sold some of my games to get by and regret most of them. Lost a part of myself selling them. Don't think I'll ever sell my Game Boy Micro though. Just ordered a new battery for it after 17 years. <laughs> yeah, I, t I tell you, it's, it's selling games. Like even when you think you don't care about it that much, like, I don't know. It, ne it never feels that good or that satisfying. And it, later on, I, I do feel like trying to. Remember. Oh, and there, there's still more. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Saying, still play it lots. Screen's still good. Got it for 99 at worst buy in 06. <laughs> lots of memories. Summer Night Swordcraft Story and Castlevania Aria of Sorrow forever. <laughs> I played my, yeah. I used to put, like, I played my Game Boy Micro a lot, like, when I lived in New York. Like, I, I would just put it in my little, like, change pocket on my jeans. Mm. So it would fit perfectly yeah, you right know, I, I think I mentioned not that long ago, <laughs> I was, um, I was, like, setting this, setting aside this, like, little area in this little cabinet that, like, I could charge, like, you know, kind of my out-of-rotation system. You know, the systems that I don't use, like, super common. You know, so, um, you know, your, your GBAs and your DSs and your 3DSs and your Vitas and stuff like that. Um, I was like, where is the charger for the Game Boy Micro? Uh, I was like, I was like, this, because the connector on it isn't like any other GBA or DS system. I, I was looking like everywhere. 
Where is this charger? <laughs> Where is and, it? You know what? Oh. It, it it still had the 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 twist time. <laughs> oh uh, crap! Like I had never charged it. Like I'll admit, I mostly I bought the Game Boy Micro much later. I mean, I was still able. Um, I, I was still able to, um, order it new because I, I got the Famicom colored one and it wasn't like that expensive. Like it was like new, but it was like, you know, not popular. Right. Yeah. So it was like, it was like in that period of time where like, no one cares about this thing. Uh, you know, so it's like, it's like, it's not collectible. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I got it new. It wasn't, like, outrageously expensive or anything. Um, I, I mostly just got it as a collection piece because I owned, like, a version of every Game Boy. Like, I don't have a Game <laughs> Boy Light. I kind of would like one, but, like, I, I guess I didn't really count that because, like, it's kind of like a Game Boy Pocket, but a little different. Um, but like, I basically owned like a version of like every, it, a representative of like every form factor of Game Boy. I, mean, I gotta have that. I gotta have that at some point. Got, and, you gotta, uh, you gotta. Got it, gotta. I mean, I, I gave up, I gave up on that on DS. Like I don't, I don't have a 2DS or a new 2DS or a small new 3 gave up on it. But I do, I do own a, a version of every DS in, in the game board. But anyway. So, like, I didn't use it a lot. Like, I've never, like, I'll be honest. I've never, like, used the micro. Like, not not, not <laughs> anything against it. Not not anything against the micro, but I've never just, like, sat down and been, been like, I'm playing a game. Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, like, when almost, you're, like, it's portability is you know, the, uh, the main reason they use it. It's like, unless sure, you're, and it looks cool. It looks you may, cool. Maybe in the next trip you take, you should make it a point. Just take, I'm going to say, say, I'm going to take the I'm game going. boy micro and I'm going to play I'll it. I'll play through a game. Maybe yeah. so. Maybe I should. I think, yeah. I, I think that'd be fun. Yeah. But like, you know, I bought it well after the GBA's day. I bought it mostly just to have it. Uh, I think it's a cool thing, but just like it came into my life at the wrong time. <laughs> To like seriously play, right? Yeah. So, so anyway, I say all that to say almost every time that the Game Boy Micro has been turned on has been like to shoot people. Yeah. And my point is, until like a couple of years ago, I had never even like plugged it up, and it it, it worked. <laughs> it wor just worked for all those years. It never been charged. So that's amazing. I mean, the GVA SP battery still holds up for me. Yeah. That's what Donut says. Careful with the micro. They're getting super fragile now. From the plastic getting old. Like, is it because it's that... Um, from the face? The faceplate, you mean? Yeah, it's like the faceplate, like, just it's kind of like that thin, like, sort of... It's almost like a metallic-ish enamel. <laughs> I don't know if it's really... I don't know if it's metal at all. Um, like, my, uh, my Majora's Mask new 3ds xl uh like the um the that sort of like this enamel sort of shiny stuff on it like it started flaking off um and i ended up going to nintendo's online store and you can buy like replacement right uh back plates and 
Unfortunately, they, they didn't have one for the Majora's Mask one. They had a um, Metroid Return of Samus one, which I thought might be cool, but I also figured it would probably be a... It was also gold, just like the Majora's Mask one, and I thought it might be like a different shade of gold, and so I thought that might be weird. So I decided, like, instead of, like, making it look like I'm trying to match it and failing, I thought I would just, like, have, like, a completely different one. So I, I bought the Super Nintendo-style one. Also, the since the shiny stuff started flaking off on the Majora's Mask one, I didn't want to get, like, a similar style. Right. That might have a similar material that's going to flake off. Um... So, uh, so, so I, I thought, well, I'll get the Super Nintendo style one because it's just like kind of more of a matte plastic machine to it. It doesn't seem like it'll be as problematic. Uh, do I still log into FF Online? I assume you're talking about Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I haven't been playing it lately. I need, I need to finish, I need to do, there was the, um, I forget what this quest series is called. Like, I need to do, like, the last series of uh, content for the, the new stuff they've been doing, like, focusing on, like, the 12. The 12 gods. Like, I, I, I've, I've really enjoyed that quest line, but I haven't, I haven't done the last few battles on that. Is there any particular Was this your first year end that didn't have Final Fantasy fourteen in it? To some extent. No, I mean this, the the expansions only come out every like what two, two and a half years. But they release content along the way, but I don't I've never like in fact, I mean, I don't even remember if I put Endwalker. I know, I I know, I I know, I put Heaven's Word in there because, like, I had bare, I had not really been playing the game very heavily for a long time, and when I finally got around to Heaven's Word, like, pretty late. Um, Interesting. I wonder if I beat him here. If I have to fight him in the against, because you have to, you got to fight him. The guy I'm fighting right now, the Asterius, you have yeah. to fight him along with another enemy at the end of this level. And I wonder if you beat. I've never fought him here. I wonder if you, you don't have to fight him later. If he won't be in the other battle. Yeah. But anyway, I, I, I there have definitely been times where I skipped including Final Fantasy XIV. Even when I beat like an expansion that year, I, I couldn't tell you which one. But I know I've seen it. Like even when I could have mentioned it, I just, I just cut it out for, for time, right? Yeah. Because I just I didn't have time to talk. About it. But that wouldn't have you know it, you know we we we, we got to follow through with our new you know monthly uh, month monthly production format. Uh, yeah. So it's not all a big rush at the end of the year, but doing that like. Uh, you know, when Dawn Trail is going to be the new expansion, 7.0 is coming out, you know, this summer. Um, I'll, I'll 100% for sure. Um, oh, okay, so he stops. I'll, 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 uh, I'll include that in 2024 for sure. I wonder if he's like weaker then. It's interesting. I'll, I'll be curious to see what happens at the end of this level. In the name of Hades. You should play this. I mean, it's just, it's yeah, kind of a nice. I mean, I have it, so yeah. I want to. It's just kind of a nice thing that you, could, you don't have to put a lot of time into it if you don't want to. Well, maybe I'll start it after I beat Vampire Survivors. There you go. I think I've got 12 achievements left to go on it. Oh, you're getting so you're almost there. I think I'm almost. It's like, is it 196? 
Yeah. I'm kind of worried that I'm something might have ended up glitch because it said 196 at one point, and now it says 195. Like for the upper bounds. Huh. And um I've also got um I un I I uh I evolved the Night Sword for the first time the other day. Yeah. And like that achievement is still listed as not done. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm kind of worried that like yeah. something could have glitched. <laughs> I don't know. Apparently there is like a new expansion for it too. It has like it's like a crossover with Among Us. I, I don't think it's out on the Switch yet. Uh, I see uh, Mega X Six uh, coming back around with another five dollars super chat, but this time with a comment. Thank you. Saying uh, randomness. I received the Mario Decorative Light Mario Mushroom Flower Star for Christmas. Love it. I, you know, I won't lie. I've definitely seen that like in in stores before, and I've come like. <laughs> well, I could find somewhere to set that. I have a similar thing. Uh, someone sent it to me. It, 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 this is like, I, well, I gave you one. Oh, um, the PlayStation one? The PlayStation lights? Yeah. Like the PlayStation like button symbol lights? Like triangle, circle, cross. Um, I always say X uh, square, but it's officially cross. Um, like, that is the, the freaking weirdest thing. Um, <laughs> you don't remember ordering it? Any... I, there's no, there's no reason I would have ordered it. Like, it's, it's so, I, I probably, I probably told this story before. Like, this was a couple years ago, I guess. Yeah. So, several years ago, I, I, I don't remember how long ago, someone sent, uh, along with some other stuff that was sent, um, those PlayStation button icon juicy. So this is pretty cool. It's sitting over there on my my PlayStation shelf. And I was on eBay <laughs> a couple of years ago. I, I already had this thing for a few years. I was on eBay. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't tell you what I was looking for. I was looking around and like you know, I was looking at a listing and somewhere on that listing, it says, you know, it, it shows these PlayStation lights. I'm just, I didn't click on it consciously anyway. <laughs> oh, so he does start with less like, health. Hey. That's cool. Sorry, I just saying he, just, he, he does start with less health. Okay. That's pretty cool. I probably still won't be. Anyway, I'm like, I'm like, okay. I, uh, I've got, look at that. I have that, you know? Yeah. But I did not in any way click on it consciously, knowingly, or anything. I just, you know, I go on and look at whatever other, whatever I was looking for. You know, maybe I, maybe I did buy, maybe I did buy something. I don't remember. But then like sometime that week, like, this PlayStation buttons turn up in the mail. I'm like... <laughs> Why are these here? And I'm like... Like, I would not have ordered those, because I have them. Why would I have ordered those? I wouldn't have ordered them. I have them. And then I, I go to my account, and it's like... Well, apparently I did order them. I have no clue how it happened. <laughs> it just... That is like, that is one of, like, literally the greatest mysteries of my 39 years. <laughs> like, 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 that oh, is like... Man, he's gonna get me. That, that is like one of my, like, closest brushes with the supernatural or something like that. Like, that, that is like maybe the most inexplicable event 
that has ever occurred to me. <laughs> I just don't understand it. <laughs> Shoot. Yo, Kaylee Gaber says blame Sandy. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, one time when I was um, almost back home from my driving home from my parents' house, uh, like my phone was like sitting in like the cup holder, like <laughs> between my seat and the passenger seat. And Sandy's paw was like hanging in that cup holder. And like somehow she called my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know how that happens. Yeah, like, like all of a sudden, like you know, my phone's connected to the Bluetooth. And it's ringing, and my dad picks up, and he's like, he's like, "Hey," I'm like, uh, "Sandy just called you." <laughs> this. <laughs> I don't know, like that. Like, it's just, it's they, amazing that, like, you know, she just, like, didn't, like, dial, like, some random number that's, like, in my contacts list is, like, someone that I, like, don't even remember who they are. Like, someone, that, someone like, I used to, like, work with or something. It's like, <laughs> wait, uh... <laughs> like, it just, oh, I mean, I'm, I'm glad it, I'm glad it was just my dad not, you know, something like that. Yeah. I'm trying to wonder how... I don't know how I get these... Uh, these other uh, unlockables here. I assume that I just had to give keep on giving certain people uh, gifts like these down here. The secret stash. I, th I think it's kind of fun to not look up anything in games like this, oh, too. Oh, sure. I mean, I've, I've, I've even done that with Vampire Survivors. Like... Yeah. As stupid as that game is, like I've tried to like Well like figure out the uh surprise. like those um like those quest things or whatever, like the uh the give you like kind the of a crypt or there's like a like cryptic um the, Oh yeah, there's that other list, yeah. Yeah. And it's like, like I'm just trying to figure out figure some of those out. There's like, like it just like it drip feeds you these little things to do and you're like, Oh, what does that mean? What can I do? Yeah, with that? some of them it's like, oh, you know, like oh, you play this certain level, this certain level with the dog. Yeah, and it's like oh, figure yeah, that out. So it's just like it's just enough to lead you on. You know, yeah. the only things I've looked up are like, like sometimes when you unlock something, like it disappears too quickly. Right. And you know, I'm like, so I'll like Google like, okay, what 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 is that thing? Mm -hmm. But I've not even done that very much. Well, is there anybody here that was like interested in trying this game and didn't, and now maybe is because of seeing well, me play? I mean, given that you told me that like like a a run where you actually beat it is only like like forty five minutes. minutes, like like that does have me kind of thinking like oh like this might actually be a good thing to start, even though like the uh, tier of production, shall we say, is very different from Vampire Survivors. Yeah, it, it might fill a similar space. Yeah, well, the thing is, like, um, a lot of time you don't want to do just one. You're like, oh, maybe I'll do another one. And same, same, same thing with Vampire Survivors. Where can you like suspend yes. a run? Yep, and you'll okay. you'll resume right from there. You can quit and and you can uh, uh, cause like, like I could see like wanting to just like do stuff around this little hub area and like not actually gain involved in an actual run or something. Mm hmm. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, there's, I get, although I guess if you do a crappy run, it is, no it's not like, anymore. there's no penalty, right? Like it's not right. like, you, and it's, it's do you not, have to, do you waste any resources on a bad run or anything? No, 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 you don't, you don't lose anything. So that's a, and you know you you'll play it much differently than you did with uh, with Returnal though I think because it's not such a uh, you know it's, there's there's no real strategic reason to like play it slowly and there's no I don't think there's a way to really play it slowly 
Mm. You know, you just learn how to handle the enemies and, you know, pick yeah, the upgrades. I, I really took my time a lot of the time in Returnal. Yeah. Although, I mean, you, I, I mean, you move very quickly in Returnal, but you turned on that thing where you're, like, always in dash mode. Right. And I didn't like that. Yeah. I, You know, you were more like, I'm going to take my time and just, like, really... No. Well, I mean, like I just, was, just do it, and I was, it. Really and I, and I was more like, fact. I'm gonna beat it by just like slamming myself against it until I eventually m make it, right? Or I like learn right. it. Well, I, I thought it was fascinating that we took very different approaches with it, but still, uh, you know, finished it in relatively similar time frames. I think, I think I like took a break for a, a couple of weeks mm -hmm. just because I think I was busy, right? But then I, you know, I got back to it, and I was really proud of the fact that. I managed to beat that, like, because I had to do the final run three times to get the true ending. Right. I was really proud of the fact that I did it, that I never died in the in the final bio. Yeah. Like, I thought I was really proud of that. That is that is really impressive. Well, I'm going to continue on with Doom 2 going forward, though, because, you know, that's... It was, is, that, is that on your pledge list or nope, not? No, it's not. Uh, the only thing I'm playing that's on my pledge list right now is uh, Yakuza Four. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not playing anything on my list either right now. I'm. I'm mostly just playing Pikmin Four and trying to pick up those last achievements in Vampire Survivors and hopefully unlock those credits. I still don't know how you do it, but I. I, I I'm sure I'll, I'll stumble upon it at some point. Do you think that you're going to? focus on previous like pre last year's games last year's pledges before you take on anything new that's that's a good question like hyperlight drifter is kind of on my mind as something to tackle sooner than later that's, um, that seems like it'd be very similar to this even yeah yeah you know what's funny like i actually like tested that game with pre-scaling um which works but not like super well because of the way the camera scrolls yeah um, but anyway, um, I was like, I must have played it on like a PS4 games. I've never booted stream or something. Yes. Cause like I had zero memory of ever booting that up. Yeah. It was, it was, and I had to save streams. like early in the game. Yeah. I remember that. I mean, when I say I had zero memory, like not totally zero memory, but I was like, I was very surprised. I'm like, wait, I have a save in this. <laughs> and then it's, it sort of came back to me. Um, uh, there's one, uh, it was, it was five dollars from John the Don getting in there before we're, ah, we're, we're ending for the night. Uh, thank you. Saying, uh, did anyone see the young man who apparently beat uh, te OG Tetris? To me, it looked like the game just crashed. I mean, that's what a kill screen essentially is. It's the game, yeah, yeah. Crashing. I mean, that's that's I mean, that's more of a thing in arcade games where you know you get such a high score or get to such a high level that the game. The game is just programmed to just go on and on and on and on mm -hmm. forever, but eventually it gets to a point where it just can't do it. It just it it cannot generate the next level, right? Like yeah. those semi endless old arcade games. You don't hear people talk about kill screens in console games so much, um, right? I think I I didn't like I like I definitely like passively saw stuff about that news. I think it's pretty interesting. Yeah, I, mean, I love seen all this stuff about NES Tetris um, because I think like to most people, like the Game Boy Tetris is the most iconic, but NES Tetris was the one that I was most familiar with mm -hmm. growing up. Like I played it much more on NES than Game Boy. Um, uh, so that, that was pretty interesting, but I was a little confused because I remember... I'm pretty sure it was NES Tetris where there's like at certain thresholds you like see scenes mm -hmm. like like there's like little cut scenes or, or something. I think like little like victory sorts of animation. Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember that at all. And yeah, so I, I thought that was considering the game beat. I mean, that's what I'll, I'll have to talk to drum about it sometime because, you know, I know, you know, we you know, both have NES Tetris. 
I'm pretty sure he had. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure we, because I remember like before the backlogger even, I feel like I remember discussing this with him. Like, like what's beat and what, what do we consider beat for Tetris? <laughs> you got to um, do that with that kid. And said. I remember there, there were, there's like little scenes. I like, uh, you know, let me see if I can Google. Right I don't know how this is telling me I played this for 14 hours. Really I don't think that that's possible. Cut scene. Yeah, okay. There's no way okay. I played more Hades in three days than I have in played so Yacht on, before. Um, yeah, there's like, um, on YouTube, I found there's like, there's like a little scene that has like rockets of like different sizes, like shooting off into space. On Tetris Type A, these these are all of the things that blast off after you get a game over on Tetris NES on Type A. The scene you get depends on your points when you get the game over. Okay, so yeah, so if you get like thirty thousand points, you get one scene. If you get fifty thousand, seventy thousand, hundred thousand, hundred twenty thousand points, a different scene. So if you get a certain amount of points on type A, you get this little scene. And I considered that beating the game. Mm. So I was a little confused that like, oh, like the, I guess the game can crash. The scenes are after you lose, but like, you know, a lot, but still like you get like a celebration scene because of the score you got. Right. So that's what it seems like to me. It's still as cool that this kid did it. I, I think it, I think it's super cool. It was just I, I'm just saying I, I'm not I'm not discounting it by saying that. I'm just saying I was. Do you got this pre order like, right? Well, wait, there you, are see there are like see, victory scenes in that game. Say what? You you got you're getting this right day one. I remember you yeah. saying you're pretty excited about it. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I I think I'll probably play. Uh, Arkham Origins on Wii U instead. Or literally any other game that you have in your house. Yes. Um, Even Vampire Survivors. Super chat from Don the John saying stream Tetris next week. <laughs> Thank you. You know, have we ever streamed Tetris effect? Uh, no. Maybe I feel like that I, would get a, know, some sort of. Do, I'll do that next week, but I, I would like to, I would, I wouldn't mind streaming that sometime. <laughs> Uh, but I think that's gonna do it. I think that'll do it for this week. I got a uh, I got a doctor's appointment in the morning, so I gotta stay up too late. Uh, thank you to everybody who donated, and uh, off to a great start with the new year. Look for us every Sunday for the rest of the yep. year. Yep, yep. <laughs> I hope. Uh, and uh, everyone have a great night, a great week ahead of you, and take care. See you next week. Yeah, Good night. night.